is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. Just dial in toll free. Our number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it's Ian. And Brett. And Mark. Brett joining us uh, for maybe the last time in the foreseeable future or the immediate future. Brett, you're you're moving again. Yeah, yeah I am. I uh, I saw Keen as a uh, temporary. I wanted mm-hmm. to come check it out. I enjoyed it very much. And uh I'm going back to the place that I I consider home for other reasons, you know, besides activism. I'm from New Hampshire. I grew up in that area, and uh, the area of Manchester, Manchester, New Hampshire. So before it's a popular place, lots of people are out yeah, there. There's a lot of activity and there's a, a lot of opportunity for me. So before we we get into anything, I wanted to say thank you to you guys for uh, extending the the invite to be a, a co-host on the show, and for a lot more than that. This was actually like the first Liberty show. I ever listened to starting in 2006. Wow. It inspired me by 2007 to move back to New Hampshire and to seek out other Liberty Media. And uh, that process eventually led to me starting my own show. So I owe both of you guys quite a bit, I would say. And well, yeah, your, your job, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> really, though, Brett, I mean, you are the, uh, as far as I'm concerned, one of the ones I've named for my dream team here on Free Talk Live. I think you do a fantastic job. Um, so, you know, it's always been a delight. It's uh, We haven't offered you anything other than, uh, you know, what we have to gain. So Right. Well, it's my pleasure. Thanks for coming no, in. No, no, it's my pleasure. We're going to talk about the 30 things that you should stop doing. And this is a list that we started a while back. We'll continue it here in a moment. Uh, we left off, what, months ago, three months ago or something like that? Two months? Yeah, we made it through the first 10. I thought we could crank it out in one night when we started, but yeah. It, yeah <laughs> definitely not. It ended up taking several nights just to get through the first 10. Um, but we're going to continue on that list here in a moment. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. There's all kinds of uh, strange, bizarre, outrageous news out there. Uh, a university, college university, at a university is going to offer gender open restrooms, whatever that means. Uh, there's an update on the case of the Boy Scouts having a cop point a gun at them for taking a Border Patrol agent pointing a loaded gun, apparently, at the... Uh, I guess if you're going to point a gun, it probably should be loaded, but at uh, at some scouts for taking a picture of a Border Patrol guard. Uh, there's an update there. The Satanic Temple is at it again, and uh, so much more, including a Market Basket update, a quickie, a short one, because uh, we've been following along the Market Basket saga here on Free Talk Live. Brett, uh, let's continue the list. Where is it from? I, I've, it's been so long, I don't even remember the source of this story at this point. All right. The, the website is markandangel.com, and the title of the list is 30 Things to Stop Doing to Yourself. And we left off. We had completed number 10, so we only have 20 left. And number 11 is Stop Being Idle. I like Ooh, this one. Oh, yeah. This one I have, tough, I have a tough time with because... I feel like I'm always doing things on Facebook I shouldn't be doing, and I basically consider that idle time. I mean, if I'm scrolling down the uh, the news feed page on Facebook, unless I find some sort of gold show prep, some awesome news story that I just you know, wouldn't have found any other way, I feel like it's been a total waste of time. But finding those news stories every now and then re-justifies me scrolling down <laughs> the news feed. But I don't think it's worth it. I don't think what I get out of it is really worth the time I spend on it, yet I continue to do it. There's, there's a fall. I've done it too, and I, and I caught myself, and I said, "There's a fallacy in here somewhere in what I'm doing. That if I just keep going, eventually, I don't know if it's the gambler's fallacy. Like eventually, if I just invest more time, it's not the gambler's fallacy, but it is definitely a fallacy. I will find what I'm looking for, mm. and I eventually had to just get away from Facebook completely. I maybe check it once a day, and wow, other than that, really I keep awesome. it closed. Uh, but there's this new app that I want to warn people about called Messenger. <laughs> Facebook Messenger. Yeah, and it will just ding if you're if the sound of your phone is on. Every time somebody sends you a message, that mm-hmm. thing is just dinging all day and trying to pull me back into what Facebook. What do you mean a message? Like an IM? Yeah, there's a sp- yeah. specific program you can download for your phone that is only an instant message program for Facebook. Okay. Right, right. So their description for Stop Being Idle, don't waste too much or, or sorry, don't think too much, or you'll create a problem that wasn't even there in the first place. Evaluate situations and take decisive action. You cannot change what you refuse to confront. Making progress involves risk, period. 
you can't make it to second base with your foot on first. Mm -hmm. Now, so this isn't just about... What does this have to do with kissing and touching boobs? I really don't understand. What? That's that's a first base. The oh, bases. You remember the gotcha. bases from high school and well, <laughs> middle school. Giving you too much the, credit. I'm afraid that wasn't happening in my middle school. No, I mean every well, not for uh, me at least. Every journey wasn't even happening for me in high school. But every journey <laughs> believe, uh, begins with a single step. As well, it is said. So I think this is not so much about procrastination as uh, you know we know what we want, but we can't see our way to getting there. Right, mm. and. Um, you know, making lists, having uh, organization programs or an organization plan. I use this thing called Evernote. It's a free program. You can download it. It's massively helpful, and it helps you. I use that. That's how. Uh, that's what my I make my lists on of like things to bring to conferences. And I'm out at the Cheshire Fair this week doing a fair outreach booth, so I've got a list of. You know, all the items I need to bring using Evernote, very handy. Right, yeah. So you might have something that's like a task, right? Like mm -hmm. wash the dishes or get an oil change. You could call that one task. But if you have something that has several steps or several pieces, you're really looking at a project. And projects sure. can become very overwhelming unless you can break them into tasks and see what the next action is. Uh, so working this way allows people, I think, to break idleness uh, more regularly, more mm -hmm. easily. But when we just say, oh, I've got a project, that seems pretty overwhelming, and that can keep us idle. I mean, I, there's like four things that I I'm, I sound <laughs> I, like I know what I'm talking about, but there's like four things that I'm doing that with right now. These projects that Where, I- Where you're staying idle, you mean? Well, there's or... you know these projects that I want to move forward on, but I just mm -hmm. haven't had a chance to map them yet. Yep. So once they're mapped, I at least know what the next checkpoint is. Right. But I haven't done the mapping yet. But that's what I would suggest. Yeah, same thing with, uh, I mean, you know, whether it's a big project like Free Talk Live, let's get on 150 radio stations. Well, it takes 10 years and lots of phone calls and follow-up and emails, and, you know, there's a whole lot of steps involved there. Remember when we thought in the first year we were going to have 50? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> took five years instead. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, but the, I think one of the things you can do is take that goal and then, like you're saying, map it. Work backwards from the goal. What would you have to do to get from where you are today? What are the steps? Look at the goal and then try to figure out, you know, from that goal, what would have been the step right before that? What would have come before that? And so on and so forth right on down to where you are today. What would it take to get there? Yeah, that's actually outcome envisioning is another uh, it's a motivator, right? Because if you can see the end, Albert Einstein used to talk about this, I think. If you can see the end, then and, and, the, and this, the end is compelling enough, you mm -hmm. know, the finished product or whatever is compelling enough, you might be motivated to work your way back. Uh, even if the problem seems impossible to work your way back to the beginning and figure out how to get started with mm -hmm. it. Let's continue on. Number 12. Sure. Number 12. Actually, hold that thought. Ray's on the line calling somewhere in the U.S. You're on Free Talk Live. Ray. Hi, all you Liberty lovers. Hey, uh, Ray, go ahead with your thoughts. Yeah, um, I, I was wanting to say um, to, to James that I think you're being treated awful. The guy, the guy that calls in that y'all give him such a hard time. He called in originally about, um, well, at least I guess it was originally, about people treating him so bad on YouTube or something, and I haven't heard him except No, I think you're show. confusing a couple of callers. Uh, James's call, you're talking about James from Arizona, who is – a somewhat regular caller went. to the show. I think you're confusing yeah. him with Dave in New York, who was the one who has his own YouTube channel. If James in Arizona has a YouTube oh, channel, okay. I'm not aware of it. But uh, oh, was, oh, okay, well, you're right then. I, oh, oh, okay, I did confuse that then. So, did um, you want to talk about I'm Dave in New York with a YouTube channel, or did you want to talk no, about James? No, no, no it's it, it, it's James. It's definitely James. Okay. Maybe it was on forums or something. People were um, picking on him, and he called in about that. And, nope, um, nope. And that's uh, that's Dave in New York again. Dave in New York is the one who's got this persecution complex. He's constantly on the phone with us, uh, well, whenever he calls. It's always about how people are hating on him on Facebook, etc. Okay. Yeah, James's thing is, well, okay. uh, he called in originally about uh, the use of uh, new uh, atomic weapons on Japan. Well, specifically about Ian's statement that uh, you can't get to peace through war, or something like that. Hang on, Ray, we can bring oh. back here in a moment here, 855 450 free that's the pro xpn toll free line and this is free talk live 
Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim. A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M. Angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll-free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to take control of the airwaves toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out that way if you'd like. Actually, if you've got Skype, please use it. It does tend to sound better, most always, uh, over regular phone calls, so feel free. Today's been kind of a blockchain day for me, guys. I've been at the county fair here in Cheshire County, and it's my third year doing county fair booth kind of outreach for freedom-oriented stuff 
Last year, I focused on the Shire Society Declaration, got over 200 people to sign, to actually sign the Shire Society Declaration, declaring their personal independence from the state. Uh, This year, the declaration's still there, but it's not the focus of the table anymore. Now my pitch, what I'm leading with for people, is Bitcoin. And specifically, getting hoping to get people set up with a blockchain.info or .com, whichever one you pr- prefer, uh, a blockchain wallet. And uh, I also got the, uh, the Bitcoin vending machine from, there's a few different companies out there. I've got the uh, Project Skyhook v- Bitcoin vending machine. So th- the ultimate, the holy grail of this booth is to have somebody... If they don't already have one, get a blockchain account on their phone, their smartphone, okay, and then use that to purchase their first Bitcoin from the Bitcoin vending machine. And I got one today. Oh, really? Yeah, I got one. One guy actually it was a young Republican guy who was working at the Republican booth who came over to ask about Bitcoin. Now, how many people did you get to talk to today? This is at the fair. You're you're you know trying to swing people in, you, walk them through the midway, right? Do you mean the, talk to or talk with? I talked to a lot of people. Okay, talk at. That's it's just talking at. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you mean talked with or talked yes. to? Uh, you know, there were several people who came by who several, were interested. like a dozen? Like I would say, yeah, approximately a dozen, maybe okay. a little bit less than so that. So one, two an hour? I don't know. I'm not really I mean, sure. You were out there about six hours, right? If it's a dozen, yeah, I was then up there that's two from an hour. 8 a.m. until about six uh, in the afternoon. Okay. So, um, so about not 10, that many? About <laughs> eight to ten hours, somewhere in there. Slightly over one an hour? Well, you know, I handed out more flyers than that, though. It's not all about who you have a conversation mm-hmm, with. It's, it's also about, you know, so I would probably say I handed out a few dozen flyers today, maybe two to three dozen flyers. Does it feel and as Wednesday's a, a slow, the slowest day of the Does week. it feel as effective as uh, as the Shire Society signing thing? <sighs> it's a little early to, to make that okay. call on that. Uh, again, Wednesday's a very slow day. This is the county fair, and Wednesday's the first day. So, obviously, Saturday, Friday, those are going to be pretty busy days, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of a funny thing, right? Because, uh, I mean, I got numbers from last year somewhere. I don't know what I did with them, but I put them somewhere. And uh, I know how many the total was for the week, how many people I got to sign the pledge. You know, I don't expect the same amount to download a blockchain uh, app, okay. but if I can hand out dozens of flyers talking about Bitcoin, that's a good thing. And even for people who don't take the flyer from me, they're hearing me ask a question about Bitcoin, to which many will respond, what? What? Huh? And then I'll say it again and, you know, maybe give them a little bit of info about what a Bitcoin is. And some of those people will take a flyer and others won't. Many will just walk by and ignore you. So there's a whole range of uh, responses. Anyway, you can get a blockchain wallet. Go to blockchain.com. They've now released their wallet again on iPhone. It's it's brand new. It's been redesigned. It's even easier to use than ever. And apparently Apple's actually allowing it back into the Apple store or whatever they call the thing that they have. What's That's the great. Thing? Oh, the, good for Apple. Uh, the App Store. App Store. That's what it is. So it's now available. Blockchain's app. Go to blockchain.com. Easy. You just click Android or iPhone, and download the app, and get it installed. And it really only takes moments to get it set up. Wikipedia is now accepting Bitcoins. Uh, that's huge. They announced today. I, wow. Uh, I had been. I had asked them three years ago to do this, and it was. It's been sort of a lot yeah. of Bitcoin enthusiasts trying to get Wikipedia to do this because Wikipedia's major internet site. Yeah, that's uh, huge. To just accept Bitcoins, mind you. This is people giving you money. So they've been very reticent to do it up to this point. But as a thank you for you know stepping into uh, the new decade, I um I sent them a, a Bitcoin. Wow! Wow! Very generous. Yeah, well, I I I want them to think, oh, we should have done this three years yeah. ago, <laughs> just like they were telling us to. So that's great news, and of course, it's great to be able to tell people when I'm talking about <laughs> Bitcoin that now Dell Computers actually takes Bitcoin. You know, them being the third largest private company in the United States, it's a pretty big. That's a pretty big endorsement mm. uh, for Bitcoin. So that's how it's going so far. It's been going pretty well, I would say, all things considered. I'll give you more updates as time goes on, but go get your Bitcoin wallet for free at blockchain.com. By the way, um, Wikipedia said in its Wiki, Wiki, Wikimedia um, said in its press release that uh, no, we are not expecting to take any other cryptocurrencies at this time. So, uh-huh. like Dogecoin or whatever. whatever. But I mean, I'm sure that the rest of the cryptocurrency advocates out there is like peppering them too. It's like, no, Bitcoin, that's it. No. No, no. 
<laughs> All right, let's go back to Ray. He is uh, somewhere in the United States. Ray, you had some confusion regarding some of our callers. It sounded like you were talking about uh, Dave in New York who was angry uh, at people and how he was being treated online on various websites and chat forums and things like that. So what was it you had to say? Okay, yeah, yeah so, sorry, that's something if I was that if I was that wrong about that. Um, well, th- this, I suppose, would go for Dave, um, too, because I do remember um, those conversations about him being upset about the forums, but ma- mainly for James. And I've heard James call in over and over and over again, and I don't um, see his arguments as illogical, and yet he's treated so bad. And my goodness, you and, – and, and I respect so much that, that you do and everything, y'all, but especially Ian. But um, he um, – I, I mean, I, I, I just can't believe it. And like you said something flippant to him just the other day, but, but I, I, I think you could drive somebody crazy like that and how y'all treated some of the callers in the past, like the woman that was calling in, um, you know, with crazy stuff and y'all outed, you know, what her real name was when she um, changed it. And, and Mark, you telling somebody to go get help and, and, and all this. I, I it mean, sounds Jesus, like you've been listening I, to the promos. promos. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like you've been listening like, to the promos. Um, no, I heard I heard that when it happened, but it is on the promo. Yeah. So I told a woman who needed help to get help. I mean, that lady believed that her neighbors were poisoning her through her uh, right. air vents or something like that. Now, it's quite possible they weren't, but it didn't take me long in listening to her that she just seemed crazy. Now, in dealing with uh, James sure. from Arizona— it's not that James has uh, illogical points. I would would say just the opposite. I think that he can make some really great points. But he wants to jump. He wants to make a statement, and then jump immediately into another statement, mm-hmm. and then recall something from the past and badger somebody about it, and then move on to something else. He he has a style of speaking that doesn't engage the other person and is sort of uh, inappropriate for talk radio. He's not interested in well, much of a conversation. I agree. Well, I, I don't know if I agree with that last statement, but but, but yeah, I, I agree. There are there are problems, but my goodness, I, I I think he needs you know um some sympathy or something if he doesn't you know relate well or or, or something. And you know he does have good arguments. That, oh, but James anyway. does have my sympathy. That much is true. And I thank you for the call, Ray. I appreciate okay. hearing from you. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. However, I'm not really empathizing with uh, with James in Arizona. There's a difference. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That uh, invite. You know, sometimes we have fun with callers here on Free Talk Live. If you're not having fun. You're probably doing it wrong. Well, he's been calling in for many months at this point. And, I mean, he's taken up residence essentially as uh, Free Talk Live's heel, you know? And I, <laughs> if he doesn't know that, um, I don't know what to he say does about now. it. now. <laughs> Toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. You bring up anything you want. We'll continue on the things to stop doing in your life. Coming up, Free Talk Live. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, Hootia and Metabolic Complex, and Pro Metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the Anti-Parasite Intestinal Freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas 
of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind. Dial toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it's Ian here. Brett. And Mark. Brett's here from the School Sucks Project at schoolsucksproject.com. We can talk more about that here in a little bit. Also, I mentioned bitcoins in the last segment. That's what I've been doing all day today is talking to people in the public about bitcoins. You can go and get Bitcoins. It's easy. You actually don't even have to physically go anywhere. Uh, You can use a money order, a wire transfer, or uh, you can use a check, as a matter of fact, to send your uh, money to ExpressCoin, and they will turn it into Bitcoin, or even Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, and Darkcoin. And it'll arrive usually in about a business day from when they receive your payment, as I understand it. In fact, uh, you can even deposit cash at a local credit union that has what's called shared branching. So go and get started at expresscoin.com and they make it easy and they're all they're very focused on customer service. They want you to have a good experience and they want to make sure you're taken care of. expresscoin.com. Go get your bitcoin today. Now, um actually they expresscoin's so interested in bitcoin and cryptocurrencies that they want you to try to get, you know, just a little bit. So if you go to expresscoin.com you can enter coupon code uh, FTL on checkout and get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency for no fee. Now, you'll have to pay for the cryptocurrency, but... You don't have to pay their normal fee for purchasing, mm. and it's it's a very reasonable fee. So you know people who've had the experience up to now, but they they're that interested in people being able to get cryptocurrency. So the uh, there used to be this forty dollar deal with ExpressCoin. Now you have to have the code to make sure you ensure that you get that deal. It's a bonus uh, mm-hmm. for Free Talk Live listeners. Works in Canada too. Fantastic. So code FTL at ExpressCoin.com. Right. All right, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We'll continue the list of 30 things that you should stop doing. Uh, Glenn, though, is on the line with us in Philly. Glenn, you're on Free Talk Live. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi, Glenn. Um, I called in the other night and uh, 
was ranting about uh, drooping pants and such. Um, the reason I ended up listening, I actually listened to Mike Rivero in advance. I just ended up listening to you guys. Some relatively new listener to you guys. Um, I just want to make, uh, wanted to make two points. Uh, one about your uh, list of 30 things that um, struck me. Um, and, and Oh, and first of all, I'm a bit of an old guy, so I'm like 53. So all I'm right. probably not totally in your demo, normal demographic. But anyway, um, and I like to talk about big things <laughs> with very serious implications, which is why I don't have much time for things like droopy pants and Bobby said something mean about Billy and all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I left junior high school a long time ago. I got gotcha. you. Um, um, the... Um, about the 30 things, as well, it seems like it has to do with the whole concept of, you know, personal time management and effort optimization and stuff like that. And just one thing that I find is very useful. I am notoriously bad at avoiding bureaucratic paperwork that I disdain. And uh, just one thing I find uh, useful in getting things done to break up the fallow ground and break up that pattern of avoidance is to make a list of several things that I feel I should do, I think I should do, need to do, but don't want to do, you know, harness the cognitive dissonance and say, what don't I want to do? And then I don't mean things that other people say I should do, but things I think I should do, but don't want to. Mm -hmm. And then pick one, pick one of them and compel myself to do it. And when I do, when you do that, there's this great sense of relief and psychological reward because the motivation came from within. It was something about which, you, you know, you, I was dissonant or you know, which one is dissonant. And then you do it, and then you feel, oh, good, boy, sure, I finally did that. It's just very rewarding way to start to break up the fallow ground of the of the stymied to do list. It reduces stress too. You know, when you start to have these things that you don't want to do, and they start to add up, it mm. becomes this it's swarm. A burden. Yeah, oh, well, it, it, it starts it's to overwhelming. It starts yeah. to feel like a swarm of bees around you. But if you take those and you identify them and you Put them where they need to go, which first might be a to-do list and eventually might be an outbox. Uh, you can transform yourself just through that simple process of identification into a beekeeper from somebody who might have looked like they were getting attacked by bees. So, but, but, Right. And the, for the first step is to be honest with yourself about your dissonance and status. You I know? agree. And I agree. The old story, how, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? You know? um, Good advice, Glenn. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, thanks. It works for me, and I like to say I'm notoriously. I I, 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 I laugh because I'm I'm a, faced with a time critical uh, paperwork test that I have to attend to tonight, where I'm going to incur some consequences. So it's like, oh, how funny that this should come up at this time. Um, but uh, about as to big trends and things in the world, I just want to give give um, a couple of examples of some big things that have implications for infringement upon people's rights. Uh, one is halfway around the world and doesn't directly impact our culture that, this much, but it does impact certain European countries and cultures. And this is over in Iraq, the Islamic State, headed by Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, and has, that has recently taken the city of Mosul. Has uh, The leaders have published a fatwa declaring that all young women in recently conquered Mosul, and this is whether they're Christian or Muslim, all the young women must submit – um, through Sharia law, to female circumcision. Oh my! When I heard this, I, I was really skeptical because I, I mean I don't know everything about this, but I thought that um, female circumcision largely only existed in on the continent of Africa. Um, that negative. That this wouldn't be something that would be expected of people in Syria or Afghanistan or places like that. Ne ne negative. Uh, that it's it is endemic throughout the Muslim world. It's been heard about, you know, um, from African nations where there there is more of this distinction between the Christian subculture and the Muslim subculture, and just because of the you know the way the news gets out and that sort of thing. There are tens of millions of Muslim women. Of, of, I think it's well over hundred hundred million. Uh, Muslim women affected by this worldwide. Well, there, there, you know, there is some question, uh, Glenn, as to the veracity of the claim. Uh, there's a story over at aljazeera.com well, that says that the Islamic State group has ordered females in its territory in Iraq to undergo female circumcision, according to the UN's resident and humanitarian coordinator in Iraq, but is a claim rejected by activists that are linked to the group. Jacqueline Badcock said Thursday the decree was issued to residents between 11 and 46 years old living in and around the city of Mosul. 
The decree would potentially affect 4 million women and girls, she said. This is something very new for Iraq, particularly this area, and is of grave concern and does need to be addressed. Uh, this is not the will of the Iraqi people or of the women in Iraq, these vulnerable right. areas right. covered by right. the terrorists. This is, this is very much um, adamantly, and there are, for example, there are Muslim families in Europe, like in Britain, there was a famous case just uh, that was on mainstream television, where the family shipped the girl to a Muslim country to for this procedure, and then she you know, would return home to, to Britain. Uh, so actually European families actually send their girls for this into countries where it is legal. I can't imagine it's particularly and, uh, popular. I mean, this is a horrific thing to do. This is genital but, mutilation. It's absolutely horrible uh, to yeah, do that it, to, it's to a people. It's a forced clitorectomy with further mutilation of the external genitalia. But here's the other side of the story, Glenn, just since you, since you brought it up. The decree was posted on Twitter, but its authenticity was rejected by Islamic State-affiliated websites and Twitter accounts. When asked by Al Jazeera when the group would issue a statement, one Islamic State State sympathizers said they have better things to do with their time than retracting bogus claims. However, local reports suggest it was not issued by the Islamic State group and a statement had not been issued by its media division. Okay. So there's and, some and, question and about e that. Even if, even if I concede that that is completely true, it is nonetheless that this practice does go on, is highly prevalent worldwide, even if not in this case. I wouldn't say it's highly and, prevalent. You know, yeah. and, what, huh? I wouldn't say it's highly oh, yeah. prevalent worldwide, oh, yeah. female yeah. circumcision. Yes. Well, do you, Glenn, well, do you... In, in, in Muslim nations, absolutely. All the Muslim countries all over the world. Absolutely. Do you... And, and, um, this is new one, information one to me, Glenn. I'm sorry. I, I just... Yes. I was of the opinion... Oh, I, I want to see if we can get somebody from Muslims for Liberty on to talk about this and see if there's any, any truth to the claim this is in any way uh, worldwide popular. Thank you, Glenn, for the call tonight. Just Muslim world popular. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought I thought it was African. I mean, you know. Toll free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control of the airwaves here and bring up whatever's on your mind. This is Free Talk Live. Crashed, the death of the dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike <laughs> <laughs> try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 800-952-5760 that's 800-952-5760 A new teen trend of walking wet and nude couldn't have caught on at a worse time. And a taxpayer is outraged. And lo, the Lord said unto the Israelites, Look unto the heavens, and you shall see a news review program to rival the greatest wonders of the earth. This is the Onion Week in Review. As a front of dense, frigid air and snow showers brought sub-zero temperatures to much of the country this week, Canton, Ohio residents noted that the blanketing of snow they had received created the illusion that their town was not a total sh**. 
exit hole. Residents added that unlike its typical depressing reality, the snow-cloaked town actually looked halfway livable. Canton is usually a miserable little dump, but you know when that first snow fell and like covered everything in a layer of white powder? For about five minutes, it was like not everything I saw depressed the living out of me. Reports from locals also confirmed that for a brief period, the streets, parks, and buildings around them gave the surprising impression of not being a rundown, heartbreaking excuse for a hometown. This is the Onion News Network. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on Earth? Most coffee at grocery stores or in chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, BuzzBox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Claim was made a moment ago that there's been some sort of uh, fatwa that has been issued in some Muslim area of the Middle East that is supposedly... And there's some question into the the veracity of this, but supposedly ordering women to submit themselves for circumcision, the story from Al Jazeera says that there's uh, some major questioning uh, whether this is legitimate or not. Even people involved with the Islamic State, I believe, is the group that allegedly ISIS issued it. Or ISIL. Yeah, um, even people involved with that via Twitter accounts and websites are saying, no, that's not true. That is not what happened at all. We've uh, And then the caller, Glenn, went on to suggest that the, pro- uh, the practice of female circumcision, which is genital mutilation, and so is male circumcision, by the way, uh, but the practice, he says, is fairly widespread in what he claims are Muslim countries. So I actually have a, a real-life Muslim uh, on the line here. He is Will Cauley from uh, Tennessee. Well, you got him. Will, uh, from Muslims for Liberty. You're on Free Talk Live via Skype. How you doing? Hey, you're an actual Muslim. Uh, so what do you think of those claims? Uh, well, I mean, I'm not surprised by them. It's something that you hear a lot coming from. Uh, you have, like, this cottage industry, billions of dollars a year. Uh, and websites, speakers, most of them welfare whores, you know, living off of DHS grants, that they spread this around via the internet and speaking engagements and stuff like this. They're polemics. They have no background in Islamic history or theology at all. Uh, one of Wait a them, minute. You mean watching an episode of Bill O'Reilly doesn't count as uh, getting background in history and Muslim uh, stuff? No, not really. No, okay. Not particularly. But uh, basically, uh, female genital, genital mutilation, female circumcision is a cultural practice that predates Islam. Um, it is prevalent in certain areas of sub-Saharan Africa uh, where the practice is prevalent among all cultures, uh, indigenous tribal cultures, secularists, Muslims, everybody in this area. It's just a, it's a cultural practice that unfortunately was brought into Islam uh, by certain sects of Muslims. Now, there are there is one specific— Well, lots of religions uh, will take on sort of, uh, you know, practices uh, that, are, that are cultural when they uh, convert people. 
I mean, you, yeah. uh, Christmas is a really good example of this uh, under Christianity. And frankly, circumcision um, is uh, it's, it's only done here in the United States, but lots of Christians do it. And it's kind of silly. No, no Christian church has come out really. No, no Christian church of note has come out against it. Mm. Um, they should, but it's they awful. should. I mean, you know, it's, it's ridiculous that Christians are out there, um, you know, uh, trimming willies. I mean, it makes no sense <laughs> at all. Yeah. Well, there's there's actually nothing that supports uh, – there's there's one uh, Hadith tradition that has been ruled daif, which is weak or fabricated by all of the mu'adith, you know, the scholars of Hadith of, of note from Ibn Taymiyyah to uh, Malik, Bukhari. You know, like it's not mentioned in any of the, the well-known books of tradition. So – and even that – Hadith doesn't talk about female genital mutilation as it's practiced. It actually talks about removing the hood, but not the clitoris. So it actually talks about creating a situation where the clitoris would be more exposed, not cutting it off. So even the tradition, which, as I stated, is seen as a fabrication, something that came along later that was attributed, um, not that the Prophet even advocated it, he just mentioned Hey, there's this tribe, and they do it. Mm. Uh, okay. So, and they, and they do it in this way. So, even that tradition isn't an advocation in any way. It's just stating there's a tribe, they do this. So, there so, was another claim uh, the caller made, and I imagine that on most most places, most radio shows, when someone calls in to make claims like this, they're just accepted as, oh, those awful monsters, those Muslims, how dare they? Well, it's really difficult and- to know what goes on. How in the world, I mean, you can, I could have traveled to uh, sub-Saharan Africa, wandered around and still not known what they do to their, you know, 12-year-old um, young women. No one, this is a difficult thing to sort of confirm or deny. This well, is actually- Well, you can confirm that it's, whether it's not a popular thing to do by talking to actual Muslims. And yeah. getting their opinions, and so we are. Yeah, it's actually if you if you were to go on to like uh, your average Muslim Facebook group, you know, like hi, we're Muslims or Muslim something, you know, mm-hmm. like, just a group of Muslims on Facebook and went in and were like, well, what's your opinion of female gen- mid- genital mutilation? You'd get run out of the room. You know, people would just be like, it's barbaric, it's horrible, it's disgusting, it's not a part of our faith, yep. it's a cultural practice. You know, like people, it's something that is rejected by 99.99% of Muslims. It's just this one specific area where it's something that's practiced by that culture. You know, it's it's practiced by the Muslims. Right, which would- is why when the, the uh, caller earlier said that he's, you know, I don't know where he got this this claim, but claiming that Muslims uh, in Europe are sending their children to well, these other countries to have their uh, genitals mutilated. That's a story from, uh, like, this week that, in fact, <laughs> this happened. But they're Africans. Yeah. Right. Well, he made it sound like this is, like, the thing for European Muslims to do, which just sounded ridiculous on its face. Uh, because I yeah. know Muslims, and you guys, uh, in my experience, are caring people who are genuinely interested in your families and would never harm them, from my understanding. Well, even my, my, my wife is from Africa, you know, and she's intact. <laughs> you know, well, tell you know a little more information that is yeah. necessary. But, well, you know, I mean, wife, a, if you say, you say that, people are going to immediately wonder. So, yes. Yeah, <laughs> my wife is from Kenya. And hmm. her sister, her mother, you know, and none of them have ever had this practice committed to them or anyone in their family. So, and they're from Kenya, not quite sub-Saharan Africa, but still, you know, they're in in east in uh, Eastern Africa, and it's not something that's practiced at all where they live. So you spoke of this cottage industry uh, a few minutes ago, and uh, that's that's trying to pump up these stories and propagate them through the mainstream. Is it? I, I'm. I, maybe this is would be conjecture on your part, but is it you know a timing thing, or does once in a while does one of them just catch, and you know the the people who would be interested in a story like this grab it and run with it? Do you think? Well, basically, and it, it's not really conjecture. There, there actually have been investigations into it. Different organizations have tracked the money. Uh, a lot of the money comes from people like Adelson. Sure. And for people who are, yeah, right, who are really big in the pro-Israel crowd, 
Yeah. And they also are like major funders of the let's hate the Muslims crowd. Oh, the timing. Right. So I'm thinking yeah. <laughs> there, there is a possible motive for the timing because I'm wondering, like, is there something about right now? But of course, there's something about right now going on in the Middle East uh, mm -hmm. that would that would uh, encourage people like that to pump stories like this. But I was yeah. just wondering if, you know, this is an ongoing operation. And once in a while, one of them just catches, you know, and, and gets some traction well, it, in the mainstream. We've got like three or four voices that are in the mainstream. Pam yeah. Geller, Robert Spencer, Brigitte Gabriel, Bill Warner, uh, Frank Gaffney, and uh, Daniel Pipes. These are people that are on Fox News on a regular basis. They're on AM radio shows on a regular basis. They are mainstream. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it sucks to have to say that, but, you know, these are people that are completely polemics. Most of them, their life stories have been found out, you know, like, oh, I lived, I was a terrorist. Well, actually... There's no record of any of the terrorist attacks that you committed in any of the countries you say you committed them in, you know, so there's, but people still believe them and they're, mm -hmm. they're getting huge grants of money from Homeland Security to go teach this stuff to the police department wow. in your name. Wow. Yeah. You know, to spread this around and create this kind of animosity. Um, a friend of mine, there was a small altercation. I mean, literally a very small altercation between a husband and a wife, uh, a mess was made. He was angry. She called the police. Police come out. She's like, he's upset. I just want, you know, someone here to arbitrate because we're not communicating with each other. Police oh, yeah, that's what the cops do. Oh, they arbitrate they the and facilitate scarf. communication. Yeah. They see the headscarf, and immediately the officer says, he's beating you up, isn't he? She's like, no, he's not. He's like, no, 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 no. I know how you people are. Oh, wow. And oh. This, this is because there are there are people they're getting paid your money they mm. you know the taxpayers money is being given to these organizations who have no qualifications as terrorism experts who have no qualifications as theology experts and they're allowed to spread this stuff around they go to churches i mean they used to be all over the national like quote unquote liberty event circuit wow. you'd see the tabling they'd be speaking you'd see them at cpac and lpac and good info will you know. from muslims for liberty that's muslims the number four liberty is it dot org well mm -hmm. muslims for liberty great yes, group sir. thanks for coming on in short on short notice too i literally just you know reached out to him and said hey can you comment on this i appreciate that so i'll let you get back to your time, evening guys. and thanks oh, no problem at all yep uh assalamu alaikum more coming up here hour two is on the way Hardwood mills have excess flooring to sell. There's only one place they go. Lumber Liquidators, America's number one specialty retailer of wood flooring. Oh, this you're asking amazing yeah, deals like I gorgeous yeah, I'm water, terrible at reading lips. I'm so bad at it. cherry hardwood for only $2.99 per square foot. Or quick click strand bamboo for 37% yep. less than other stores. Plus, get first quality laminate flooring yeah. for 49 cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find your over local store. You Special 12-month financing is available. Oh, Hurry, God. these deals end Tuesday. Hi, everyone. Yeah. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, oh, no. now they just cover it. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, July 30th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,294. Silver opened at $20.50, while Bitcoin is trading around $574.97. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology. Announcing the newly released Antminer S3 440 Giga Hash at only 366 watts. Buy yours today, bitmaintech.com, or call them up at 844 Bitmain. That's 844 248 6246. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code Liberty, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online, affordablesound.com. Or give them a call at 512-459-5253. In the news, Israel and Hamas are blaming each other after eight children are killed and 46 others injured when a missile struck a Gaza refugee campground, as reported by the Russian Times. The violence came as Muslims around the globe celebrated one of their religion's biggest holidays, the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The refugee camp park was attacked just minutes after a Gaza outpatient clinic was struck by another missile. The World Health Organization issued a statement that it was appalled by the continuing trend for healthcare facilities, staff, and vehicles to come under direct fire in Gaza since the escalation of violence on July 8th. Last Friday, the U.S. House of Representatives voted 370 to 40 for a resolution that would bar President Obama from sending U.S. troops for any sustained combat role in Iraq without congressional authorization. The decision reflected the desire of both Republicans and Democrats in the chamber for the White House not to act in Iraq without congressional approval. In order to be implemented, the measure requires Senate backing, which The Guardian reports is not expected. Massachusetts Democratic Representative Jim McGovern, who helped introduce the bill, said Congress has ceded too much of its power to the executive branch. On Tuesday, the Canadian government released a statement accusing China of hacking into the computers of the National Research Council of Canada. The statement claimed to have detected a cyber intrusion on the NRC's infrastructure by a highly sophisticated Chinese state-sponsored actor. The NRC focuses on technologies related to aerospace, astrophysics, energy, and mining, health and medicine, ocean vessel engineering, and security. China has denied any involvement in the attack. Support for Liberty Week comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action, join for free to gain community support and protection online at accountableauthority.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, July 30th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The Federal Court of Appeals overturned a 2011 injunction won by Florida doctors against firearms owners' privacy law. The injunction was struck down last week in a two-to-one ruling by a panel of judges from the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit in Atlanta. Gun rights advocates view the case as a big win for the Second Amendment, but doctors argue their free speech is being violated. The act was passed following several complaints from patients that medical personnel were asking unwelcome questions about firearms ownership. Ecuador recently passed an economic reform bill which will create a new state-run cryptocurrency. The bill also includes a blanket ban of all other cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. The new state cryptocurrency will be backed by the Ecuadorian Central Bank, allowing the government to make digital payments. The new currency will function alongside the state's official currency. The government has said they believe this will allow Ecuadorian citizens without bank accounts or credit cards another option for engaging in commerce. On Tuesday, activists and community members in Detroit celebrated a victory as Mayor Mike Dugan was given control of the city's water department. The city has been criticized for shutting off water to thousands of customers who were behind on their bill. The issue had previously been in the hands of the emergency manager. Now, Mayor Dugan said he believes that the Detroit Water and Sewage Department could have done more to work with citizens before shutting off the water. A new plan is being developed to address the needs of Detroit's struggling communities. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud. All natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books. Online, BraveNewBookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, July 30th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. 
An update now on a legal battle emerging around the Onion News Network's own Jode Kressbeckler. After the shocking story yesterday that a group of assailants attacked Congressman William Cummings, tied him to a horse, and dragged him through a briar patch, some are now saying these statements from Mr. Kressbeckler last week may have incited the attack. Boat licking Congressman Cummings ought to be tied to a horse and drugged through a briar patch. Mr. Kressbeckler's show is billed as an opinion and entertainment program. Yes, and it he is. even calls himself nothing but a caterwauling old badger, so right. the claim that he would incite Incite people to violence seems pretty far fetched. He displayed a map of Congressman Cummings' home in relation to the nearest briar patch, told his viewers where to purchase a quote, good pulling horse, and used a life size dummy of Congressman Cummings to demonstrate effective knot tying techniques. Right. You know, I think most reasonable people would see that as simply a ribald political satire. Right. Br briar patch is obviously a metaphor for the prickly political atmosphere in Washington, and drag from a horse means something else. Makes sense to me. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. We have gotten through all of one of the 30 things to stop doing to really? yourself. Really? <laughs> tonight. We've gotten through one tonight. We had we got through 10 in the a few months ago. We're going to try to get through some more of those. Of course, you may make a call into the show and bring up anything that happens to be on your mind. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian here. Brett. And Mark. Hey, Brett's here courtesy of the School Sucks Project. He is making a move back to the Manchester area in New Hampshire for a variety of reasons, as I understand it. Uh, not that Keene's a bad place to live, Brett. Not at all, no. Uh, but you're moving out, and uh, it's you know it's kind of a hassle to come all the way out to Keene to do a radio show. So this will be your last uh, regular week on Free Talk Lives. Not to say you won't, wouldn't be welcome to come back in the future. You certainly would. Yeah, I would certainly look forward to that as well. So yep, this will be uh, this will be the last one. So in between now and then, and anytime you like, you can go and get more of Brett and some of his co-hosts on his show, School Sucks. Uh, School Sucks, the podcast. You can go and uh, go to schoolsucksproject.com. There's uh, video that you can watch there's audio that you can download there are it's a forum that you can get interactive with yep about 300 podcasts the most recent with a caller that you and i you and i took a caller a few months ago from a young guy named nick he was 15 mm -hmm. yeah he wanted to drop out of high school to pursue yak herding the yak guy yeah yep well he's still in school and he's still herding yaks, and uh, we had a great conversation the other day, and that's the next thing that I'm going to post. So I you're heard... scooping the Edgington Post here. Oh, really? Because I've got Nick scheduled. Zing. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about this guy. He uh, Obviously, he's called the show, and apparently he started his own podcast, and Michael W. Dean from Freedom Fiends has been raving about it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So he's been on the Freedom Fiends, and mm -hmm. he's been on a couple other shows, and we had a great discussion that extended beyond school and uh, yak herding. We were talking about philosophy, you know, for a 15 year old. Um, he, well, I mean, a lot of 15 year olds are really impressive, but the grasp that he's gotten on a lot of this material uh, mm. relatively quickly uh, is fantastic. And uh, I'm going to check back with him in the near future. Schoolsucksproject.com for more. Brett, let's go back to the phones where we have Heel calling from Arizona. Heel, you're on Free Talk Live. <laughs> Hello, uh, Ian. The fact is, the piece. Yeah, Ian. Yep. I want to repeat something. Unfortunately, the fact is, the people in the Pentagon deserved it. So I want to ask you, huh? Ian, Minister. Huh? Who said that? I know who knows who said that. Your minister friend right there defended, or was he advocating mass murder? And you didn't have. You already forgot that what? he said it. That's I don't know when you're talking you about. That I, Mark, did you say it or not? Yeah, I don't think Ian was uh, present, and I tried to retract it afterwards. What I tried to say was something of to course. the effect of, look, you know, like soldiers, they put themselves mm -hmm. on the line. They are working uh -huh. within a system that mm -hmm. is subjugating these people. It's not a uh -huh. surprise to me. Whereas innocence so in— It was a Freudian slip. It was just a Freudian slip. All okay. right, whatever. Uh, what people— Wait a minute. What people in the Pentagon? Okay. Okay. Well, let me. This is it one was, of the problems with heel. Who... Yeah, heel. I can speak for it. Then I'll I'll have what I want to say. Hold on, Mark. Brett's really confused. Hey, Brett. I'm going to put you on hold since you don't want to actually stop talking uh, for a moment. Go ahead. Well, uh, I Brett. just wanted. I just want a clarification on the people in the Pentagon who deserved it, whether okay. they deserved it or not. I'm sure no one deserves. You know. 
Well, I don't know what, what they deserve and what they don't deserve. I'm not ready to retract completely the statement. What I'm, I'm prepared to do is talk about it, is, is let's compare the people who died in the World Trade Center, who largely were innocent civilians who had no real concept as to what the United States government's doing and have not you know, put the flag on their, their um, right shoulder or left shoulder, whichever side it goes, I don't know, um, and uh, said, you know, I'm on that team. Whereas the people in the Pentagon yeah. signed up for the military, most of them more than one time um, to... What they, about the janitor, though? The janitorial staff? I kind of wonder... Okay, so if you if you decide that you're going to con- contract to work at the mobs, uh, to clean up the mobs' office, yep. can you expect to drive by? Probably more so than right. any other office. So the Pentagon is the seat of power for the U.S. military. Right, yep. the U.S. military is the organization that's that's uh, you know being used as security for the kings and dictators in the Middle East, um, i.e., Yemen and uh, Saudi Arabia. So I mean, I'm just looking in retrospect here, and so what we can see is is that the 9/11 uh, bombers were largely claimed to be from Yemen and Saudi Arabia, yeah, and those people pretty mad at their rulers in in many cases and there if you want to get rid of your rulers you're going to have to get rid of the united states in the process right Mm. so do you think that the people in the pentagon signed up to put themselves in harm's way because of the actions of the united states government Uh, just to elucidate the the people most of the people who are probably in the pentagon who were killed by whatever happened there uh, were uh, probably accountants that was the, the the part of the building that got hit was actually so they might have been been civilians Right, they might have been non-military personnel. I understand, but is it a military building? It is a military building. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, you know, I assume. Does that, that we're mean those people deserve to I die? I don't know what deserve means, man. Is that what you said, though? What does deserve? I, I'm not. A, I, okay, I need a quote, but I'm, I'm sure I said something very close to it because I was kind of in one of these heated situations where I'm trying to compare the one building to the other. Yeah, I have the to say, this building, sounds like a Sunday show. I don't think I was there for but that. I, I don't think you were. I understand what you're saying. That yeah. the, what what you're sa- even if deserve isn't the right word, what you're saying makes sense. That you know, obviously. Um, the Pentagon would be a more high-value target. In right. the- I don't think a soldier deserves a bullet in the head from somebody in the Middle East because he put the patch on his uh, shoulder. Right. But what do you think that the people in the Middle East, many of them think about a, a, a government that claims to be of the people that then subjugates them? Don't, they, don't you think that they believe that their soldiers bear some guilt? Let's go back to Heal. He is uh, back on the line here. Go ahead. Anyway, I don't know about the veracity of Glenn's claims about ISIS, just that I know that Glenn was not talking about Muslims for liberty, who will, rather than even referring to the ISIS claim at all, you know, those men in black, uh, maybe or maybe not, are engaging in commanded uh, genital mutilation of women in Mosul. Uh, He just engaged in uh, ad hominem attacks right off the bat and alleged it's just all Jewish propaganda, you know, Adelson, Gaffney, et al., and I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you're talking about what, what Will said. Anything. You don't listen to anything because you you smoke too much dope. You literally <laughs> do. But Will literally alleged that all the, the, the claims made by Glenn were because of people that are uh, are in their underwear at home Pro- and, yeah. on behalf of Jewish of Jewish propagandists and are getting money from the government and from Homeland Security. Will is a piece of black trash. I'll say that to his face. That Excuse me? What is black pro- trash? What, yeah, what is black trash? Dead. He's a piece of black trash. What does that mean? What, do you, what, what does that mean? Oh, are you, trash. S- you know what white trash is, Brett, right? You grew up around a lot of it, didn't you? Are you alleging that Will is not Caucasian? I, I'm alleging that Will I is grew a up in a very trash. Republican a neighborhood, I'll have you know. He's a liar. That- very good, Brett. I do think there's such thing as white trash, just as I think there's such thing as black trash. Okay, Will, so you're, Will Coley Will is, is a Caucasian trash. convert to um, you can call uh, Islam. Call me whatever you want if you let He's me not respond to you. To it, no. Mark, I said Will Coley oh, is. I just listened to you talk for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to How do you guys not you think about... this guy is a troll? <laughs> <laughs> How do you think this? Did is I say a... he's not a troll. How do you think this is a for real person? I don't know if he's real. I didn't say I thought he was for real. I think he's real. I'm talking to you right now for real. Do you really believe in that Fabian strategy? I think that, he might be Jimmy uh, in Arizona, that personally. That's years the United States of America murder more people than the Nazis. This is crap that you said on Free right. Talk Live. I'd well, like you to Heel, it seems data. like you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, number one, Will Coley from Muslims for Liberty is a white guy. He's uh, pretty much as white as you can get. He's like a kind of 
redneck looking dude from Tennessee. I mean, if you didn't know any better, if you were sitting in a bar in Tennessee, and of course, Will probably wouldn't be drinking <laughs> wouldn't any be alcohol in the drinking bar. In a bar. <laughs> but, you know, he could be in the bar accompanying a friend who was drinking. Uh, Will would totally fit right in in like, you know, a redneck bar in, in Tennessee or uh, going out, uh, you know, mud bogging or doing whatever it is that rednecks do. I mean, that's how he grew up and that's still the way he looks. He also brought up my the, the claim from a couple months ago that I made that, uh, and I think it got distorted a little bit. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I would uh, I would stand by the United States and Great Britain, the good guys, you know, killed more people in the 20th, were responsible for more death in the 20th century than the Nazis. People can look it up. And to be fair to the U.S. and Great Britain, the Nazis only had like 20 years to do what they wanted to do. And U.S. and Great Britain had the whole century. You know, when I talked to Will Cauley and uh, Dobby Barker from Muslims for Liberty, I detect compassion towards other humans, even outside of their religion. And when I talked to uh, James, a.k.a. A heel in Arizona. I don't detect compassion at all, so I know who I'm siding with. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. Thanks for the call, Heel. That's a fallacy. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, July 25th, 2014, gold opened at 1295.60. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1342.71, 671.35 for half ounce, or 335.68 for a quarter ounce. That's 1342.71, 671.35, and 335.68. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. 
Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can only call the show once per night, but you can always call back the next night if you felt like you didn't get your, uh, your thoughts out. Calling the studio line uh, in the middle of a uh, show or in the middle of the breaks to insult me personally or insult our board operator at the network studio. Yeah, what's the board operator got to Just do with makes it? you look desperate. Toll free number, I'll let you decide who it was that made that <laughs> call during the break. Toll free number, uh, two calls, 855 uh, 450 free. Join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Mark, how are your teeth feeling these days? I love my Magic Mud. It is a great product, and what it is is, is it's a a natural fluorideless remedy uh, for. Uh, you know, what's going on in your mouth, bacteria and uh, stains and, and those sorts of things. So first off, as far as stain fighting goes, you will see a difference in the first application of My Magic Mud. Now, the first week I had it, first maybe two weeks I had it, I used it every single night basically as uh, my nighttime toothpaste. And within the first four, within four applications, my teeth were as white as my teeth could be. And as a matter of fact, my hygienist commented on my the cleanliness of my mouth. It had been just like a week after I'd started. And I you know, raved to her about it, and she wrote down MyMagicMud.com to sort of check it out. You can go to MyMagicMud.com and uh, listen to an interview with biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole and see what he, see how, how he explains the benefits of MyMagicMud. And that in and of itself is worth your time. Stop what you're doing. If you're cruising the Internet right now, just go to MyMagicMud.com and go watch Watch that video because I'm never going to do without my magic mud any longer because this is just a great product. It makes your mouth feel so clean. In the morning, I don't have that film on my teeth any longer. Also, if I had, uh, say, I had some red wine um, the evening, uh, that evening and then brush my teeth with it, mm-hmm. it just immediately sort of neutralizes the f- taste in your mouth as you go along. You can kind of feel it go from right to left as you brush, whichever direction you brush. It's amazing stuff. My Magic Mud. Yes, they take Bitcoin, and it is just fantastic stuff. MyMagicMud.com. All right, let's continue here. You can bring up whatever you'd like. We've got Alex on the line in Knoxville. Alex, you're on Free Talk Live. Alex in Knoxville, Tennessee, going once. I hear someone on a phone. Yeah, Alex. Are you here? Hey, we got you. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, uh, Heels call about um, the uh, Pentagon. Uh, Mark Simmons on Pentagon brought up something from one of my favorite movies, a, uh analogy that I thought was pretty similar. Uh, are you, have you ever seen, uh, seen Clerks? Long time ago. Yeah, yeah, long time ago. Yes, I look forward to seeing how this ties together. <laughs> I can't imagine. Okay. Uh, do you, there's a scene where the two main characters, Dante and Randall, are discussing the morality of blowing up the Death Star. Yes, Star yeah, exactly. Hmm. Well done. <laughs> you, you did it. <laughs> one of, one of uh, I don't remember which one uh, says that um, the Death Star in the and the second Death Star was un, uh, technically unfinished. So a lot of the people on there would have been civilian contractors. And uh, were they really culpable in the, you know, in this military weapon that they were working on? And uh, one takes the position that they they weren't and that there was a slaughter of innocents. Then a contractor happens to walk up in the middle of the conversation and relays a story about how um, a buddy, a fellow contractor friend of his had gotten a had gotten a job working on a uh, mob boss's house. Where he, whereas he had previously passed it up, even though it was good money, and his friend happened to uh, be working on the house during the middle of a hit against the mob boss, mm-hmm. and was killed. 
in the in the crossfire. So the the question is, are the I mean, not to say that no, I'd never say they deserved it, but they have to understand what sort of that they're putting themselves in the line of fire that it is a big target. Right. It's to right. be. Uh, Any, it's a possibility, through, right? It's, well, I, I think that the Pentagon. I think yeah. anybody would say that if 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 a an, an individual's government, if they're a foreign individual's government, if their government, if they view their government as a sock puppet for the U.S. State Department, that then the Pentagon uh, becomes a legitimate military target for somebody who moves into sort of a paramilitary world from a civilian into the world of terrorist, which I guess terrorist is sort of a paramilitary individual, that the Pentagon is clearly a military target for those people. Now, if you work every day, I don't care if you're an accountant or janitor or secretary, every day at the world's largest legitimate military target, I think that um, it, I, I think it would be hard to say that you don't really. I mean, you know, like there's <laughs> you, you couldn't possibly see this coming, maybe. Right. So uh, yeah, and just removing the word "deserve" to say like, uh, I, okay, let's. I would simplify like this, right? A contractor working on the house of a mobster who gets shot up, uh, the house gets shot up, and he gets killed. That's a tragedy. What happened at the Pentagon, where you might have some civilian contractors, it's certainly unfortunate. The people probably right. should I don't have understood wish any you know, right. terrible violence on anybody. Mm -hmm. But these contractors working on something called the Death Star, they deserve it. <laughs> if you, if if your project, if you're going to work every day at a place called the Death Star. Uh, you're culpable as far as I'm concerned. Well, wait concerned. a minute. Maybe they didn't call it the Death Star for their no, contractors. No. <laughs> but they already had a Death Star. They knew what it was. It was a replica, the I mean, old one. It was you know, bigger. Look, Star Wars is clearly rebel propaganda, and you know as well as I do that it was the peacekeeping star. Well, right. Maybe it was marketed <laughs> differently to the people oh, who were helping. That's right. Maybe just yeah. the rebels called it. No. Maybe just the rebels called it the Death Star, but right. I thought I remembered the people on it calling it the Death Star. And you know what? Those darn rebels... They circumcise their women. Thanks, Alex. Anything else you <laughs> anything else you want to share tonight? No, that was about the Thanks about all of it. For the call. Appreciate it. Yep. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Good job, Alex. You've gotten us kicked off at least ten radio stations. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's just really it, it uh, what we're saying here is really not mainstream, oh, right? I gotcha. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get kicked off ten I'm stations. I'm just kidding. Doug's on the line in I Ann you Arbor. Take that stuff hard. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Doug. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, welcome. Go ahead. Good. Hey, I called one time before. I, 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 I work in a federal prison here in Michigan. I um, work with a lot of uh, – most of the people who work there are veterans. I'm a mm -hmm. veteran myself. And uh, what I've discovered since I've worked there, especially since the Gulf War, the first Gulf War, is literally probably about 95% of the guys that I work with that are veterans that have been overseas – that have been deployed, when they come back, they get coached by the VA on, on what symptoms that they, should, uh, that they should exhibit to get diagnosed with PTSD. And literally just about everyone that I work with that's a veteran gets at least 1200 bucks a month in disability from the government because they have PTSD. Wow. And wow. it's just this gigantic waste. Some, and literally, we have one guy at work there who's been deemed 100% disabled. And he was 100% disabled when he started. So he gets over 2000 bucks a month uh, from the government. Plus his and he's allowed paycheck. to work? No. It's weird. And he's allowed to work there. Yeah. Doug, if you can hang on, I'd like yep. to bring you back, keep the conversation going here, because it's interesting. It's kind of the reverse of some of the other things that have been claimed about the VA and PTSD, uh, or the military and PTSD. I'll uh, tell you more about that when we come back. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. 
or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. This is novelist Tom Robbins. When my mother was diagnosed with glaucoma, her conservative Virginia physician told her there was only one treatment that might ease her pain and save her eyesight. That treatment was medical marijuana, which he could not prescribe. I offered to get her some and teach her how to use it effectively, but my father objected because marijuana was against the law. So my mother, who loved to read and walk in nature, was condemned to grow cruelly, unnecessarily blind. Tragedies like this happen all the time, but they don't have to keep happening. To learn more about medical marijuana, call the Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or visit them on the web at mpp.org. Free speech is protected on the Internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for Internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, and you can take control toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. You can actually create the content right there on the front page. You can submit stories through our Reddit-based system and vote up what you like and vote down what you don't there at freetalklive.com. You need focus? Are you feeling fatigued and trying to get that extra edge when it counts? Look into modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work and giving them that critical edge that they need. Over at modup.net, they provide the highest premium quality modafinil with the best potency so you enjoy significant results. And that's why they're the number one sponsor of Reddit's third-party nootropic testing project. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. And modup.net supports the Bitcoin community. In fact, if you order with Bitcoin, you'll get a 33% discount at modup.net. Plus, whether you're ordering with Bitcoin or with uh, those other currencies, you can use code FTL 
and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order at modup.net, M-O-D-U-P.net, world-class service at a great price. We go to Doug, or back to Doug, listening in Ann Arbor. You were uh, calling because you work in a federal prison. You said most of the guys you work with are former military, as you are. You've heard that the uh, the VA, the Veterans Administration, has been giving military veterans instructions. Some of the doctors there have been giving them instructions on how to become qualified as a PTSD vet and therefore get uh, a check from the government regularly in order you know, to somehow pay for the treatment for said PTSD. It sounds like you're skeptical, Doug, of the uh, the validity of the claims of many of these of your coworkers as to them having PTSD. Yeah, well, they'll they'll readily admit to you that they 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 don't have PTSD at all. That it's basically just it's a scam. It's and fraud. They'll admit okay. it, but yeah, it's fraud, and it's just it, it's just it really it makes me laugh because most of them are very staunch uh, right wing Republicans that talk all the time about you know the, the welfare state and how the you know the Democrats <laughs> are giving away all this money to 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 the welfare state, and they're the, they're picking up a check every month from Uncle Sam, and they get it for the rest of their life. It's amazing how people can. It's it's amazing how people can have this sort of dichotomy going in, in on in their mind. You know, they can be out on disability, but those welfare recipients, they're the bad ones. Or the welfare right. recipients that say, "My God, these people that are lying about their disabilities to get, to get a check, I can't believe it." Um, and it it's just it's amazing, and it it smacks in many cases just sort of blatant racism. I can't tell for sure though. Seems like it's an easy right. thing to rationalize, though. I mean, the people on welfare didn't serve, right? So these sure. guys can say, "Hey, I I served. I earned. They this. owe me." Yeah. Well, well the, the, the other what that's him do what they're doing though in this case is they're sort of dictating what they deserve as a pension, as opposed to, um, you know, the pension that they they signed up for. Right. Okay. So there's another side of this though, Doug, and I, I'm not saying this some way discounts what you're saying. I believe that both of these things can be true. I think what you're saying is true, and what I'm about to tell you is also true. And that is that we've had people call in to talk about how the military or the VA or whoever it is is actually trying to stop veterans and some veterans from getting benefits for PTSD, veterans that actually have PTSD, that they'll go in after their, you know, their term to the VA and, hey, I've got PTSD. And then the VA doctors there at some of these locations are apparently telling them, hmm, well, after our analysis, no, it looks like you had the PTSD before. Yes, you have PTSD, but it looks like you had it before you joined the military, some childhood trauma or whatever. So because it happened before the military, we're not on the hook for paying for it. Wow. We've heard that, too. What do you think of that? Yeah, I I. I... I think what's probably happened is just recently. I think they've realized this thing has gotten so totally out of hand that they that they realize it's they're not going to be able to sustain it, and they're probably trying to back off somehow. Because really, I mean, after you start doing this, it's hard to stop. You've got more and more guys getting out every day, and at some point, you know, it reaches a critical mass where their budget is not going to be able to handle all the disability anymore. So that's probably what they're doing. They're probably trying to slow it down at this point. So is it possible that it's not systemic? And, you know, since you're working in one location with a bunch of other people who are also in that location, that they could be talking to less than a handful of people at one branch of the VA. Mm. Right. It varies. Yeah. One VA hospital can vary uh, in their policies and procedures. Sure. Greatly. Yeah. We've right. heard the whole range. I mean, I've heard uh, veterans say they think their vet, their uh, doctor at the VA is trying to kill them. Uh, and I've heard veterans say they've just had glowing experiences. So really, it just it all depends, it seems. It's a really interesting story, Doug, because there's there's really no evidence that I know of. And if you have any, I'd like to hear it, that, that something similar to what you're describing is systemic, right? This seems to be a pretty isolated incident compared to a lot of the other stories that we've heard. Well, I well the guys that I talk to that have gotten out of the military within the last years, 10 yeah. years tell me that when they're in the process of getting out of the military and this is they're they're not retiring. They've been in 4 years, 8 years, whatever. They're at the end of their enlistment. You go to uh classes that prepare you to get back into civilian life, that you know, resume building and all this stuff and and one of the, these class, one of these classes is on VA benefits, and that's when they go over. Okay, these are the primary diagnoses that, that you have uh, that the VA pays disability for, and then they go over. Okay, this is PTSD. These are what the symptoms are, and there's no physical symptoms. They're all psychological. So you, if you go in there and you just rattle off this list of symptoms, they're going to diagnose you. Mm -hmm. They have no way of verifying it at all. And from what I've been told from these guys, everybody that comes out of a, a war zone 
when you get it, when you come back and you get out of the military, they get this. It's it's like mm-hmm. it, they see it as being part of their benefit package. Well, I, I've got to say that I've fascinating. If you were in a war zone and actually participated uh, um, in you know in war, I wouldn't doubt for a second you've got PTSD. It's, I agree. Uh, it's pretty common. Um, how long you at that point merit uh, you know uh, some kind of disability? I don't know. I. This is one of those funny things. Like, I feel like uh, veterans have been ripped off from their benefits for a very long time. And but this is one of those situations where they essentially have to uh, commit fraud in order to get the benefits. I think the benefits, you know, maybe maybe they should be better. I don't know. I find it all just very confusing. If America didn't rush rush off to war so often, it wouldn't have to deal with this. And if it didn't uh, illegalize things like MDMA, then they could do relatively inexpensive mm-hmm. Treatments for PTSD. We had a caller that uh, we, um, you know, suggested that he try that rather than suicide, and he it worked for he, him. Well, he claimed to have really great results. Right. Doug, thanks for your call tonight, man. I appreciate you bringing it to the table. And anytime you got any prison stories, give us a call back. Appreciate that too. Will do. Toll free number. Yep, eight fifty five four fifty free. Said he worked in a uh, federal prison, so. There's always prison stories. Toll free, 855-450-FREE. We've got Nathan. He's on Skype in Texas. Evening, everyone. Hi, Nathan. Go ahead. Well, uh, I wanted to say goodbye to Brett. This is your last time on the show, and maybe the last time I'll get to talk to you. Um, I had this idea about education and science education. And That's because Brett to doesn't take you. live calls on School Sucks, right? You know, Wait, aren't you right. doing a live video show sometimes, just no calls? or what's... Uh, No, we would do calls if we did a live show, and that's something that we might be looking to revive in, mm. in the coming months. It Ooh. would be once oh. a week. Uh, I won't say the time slot in case okay. it's... Uh, we should talk if you're going to do a live show. We will. All right, good. We will. It's certainly a possibility. Okay, good. So well, you might have uh, you might have other opportunities in the future, Nathan. Excellent. So go ahead, Nathan. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Well, first, I just want to say I really appreciate uh, everything you've done on the show, the tree conversation, the the Death Star conversation. It's all been great stuff. Thank you so much. And uh, so I've been thinking uh, something about education for a while, and it really crystallized with a talk uh, at Porkfest the year before by a professor. He was talking about rationalist theories and philosophy, and uh, can we have an ethics based on just you know a rational kind of list of rules kind of approach? And he mentioned something about science in that regard, which I thought was interesting. And he, his statement was that science isn't really science, or, or math isn't really math. And the example he used was the elements, which you probably know about. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a work of uh, basically it's the the seminal work of mathematics, which was used to teach the subject. For oh wait a minute, maybe I don't years. know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking. I'm not confused the periodic as well. Table. I'm confused. You're gonna have to lay this out for me, real simple. Like, hang on, Nathan. We'll bring you back here in a moment. The toll free uh, science isn't science. Is that what he said? Yes. Okay. That. Wow, that's confusing. We'll come back with more here in moments. What does that mean? This is Free Talk Live. You can take control here and bring up anything. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia and metabolic complex, and pro-metabolic, all on sale now. 
Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 you can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's the ProXPN toll-free line, and ProXPN is a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data. And before it reaches your ISP, your internet service provider right now, if you're not using ProXPN, is probably logging every website you visit, every search term you enter, keeping those logs for, in some cases, up to five years. You can stop that from happening by going to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Download their software. It's available for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, and Android. Linux users, you don't actually have to download software for Linux. There's a little bit of a different setup process involved, but you can make it work, and it's pretty simple. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Go get started there for free and when you're ready to upgrade to premium the premium account gets unlimited bandwidth servers around the world that you can connect to and the ability to privately torrent plus get uh, past regionally blocked websites you can go to proxpn.com slash ftl to get started and use promo code ftl20 when you're ready to upgrade to the premium account the ftl20 code gets you 20 percent off of the price of said account and if you order the annual plan it breaks the price down to just five bucks a month and ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online habits at all. In addition to that, uh, you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Promo code is FTL20. As we continue here, we go to Jeremy in St. George, Utah. Actually, you know what? I apologize, Jeremy. Hang on a second. I just realized we were in the middle of Nathan's call. Uh, sorry about that, Nathan. We'll get to Jeremy here in a moment. <laughs> so you were saying something about science isn't science. I'm confused. What were you trying to get out there? Well, the, uh, first of all, the elements, uh, I want to make sure Brett knows what I'm talking about. It's a geometry uh, treatise, which was uh, basically used for thousands of years to teach mathematics. And it's, it's basically a template for how math is done. You, you start out with axioms, and then you logically deduce from those axioms the principles, you know, that a triangle has 360 degrees and whatnot. So okay. uh, are you with me so far? Yep, absolutely. 
Okay, so the, the context of this was at Porkfest, uh, Professor Humer was talking about the same thing in libertarianism, where you start out with like an axiom, like the NAP, and the then you derive— The non-aggression principle is what that stands and then, for. Yeah, principle, that's the key word, and then you derive things from it in a logical fashion. And uh, his point was— So like was the non-aggression the principle, you could derive from that, that it's not nice to hit people who have right. not or hit you, you could, first. Or you could derive that uh, I have the right to— to fly a plane at a certain height over your house or, or whatever. Um, so his point was to criticize this approach uh, as being insufficient. He has this whole, I think he has a book about common sense libertarianism. But I was more interested in, this, in the, his example, which was in this case uh, mathematics and geometry. And his argument was, well, look, if you have, you look at this, this book of geometry and it tells you in a logical fashion how to derive propositions, but it doesn't tell you how to arrive at those propositions or why you think they might be true. And in fact, um, the Egyptians, like, you know, a thousand years earlier, they knew about, uh, for example, that the square of the size of a right triangle equals the hypotenuse. You know, yeah. they had to use it for surveying and, um, you know, land usage and things like that. And since then, I found that that's is an aspect of the education system. And this is what I'm curious if you agree with me, Brett. It seems like this kind of this kind of problem pervades science education the way it's taught because you're you're the whole system is a very rationalist approach where you're given a list of rules whether it's you know how to balance an equation in chemistry or you're given rules in algebra and you have to memorize these rules and there's no there's no context of no. well the, yeah. like this is how you come up with these ideas this is this is how you know. This is evidence. So what you're that saying is, what you're, just to be clear, uh, so what you're saying is that in the government classrooms, school classrooms around the country, they're presenting all of these rules to students without explanation for how they were uh, discerned. Math is taught precisely. Math is taught, and most of my recent math instruction has been with the SAT, which has a lot of geometry on it. Math is taught like magic spells to these kids. Mm. Like they, there's, there's something called the Pythagorean theorem. That if I jog everyone's memory, I'm sure they remember a squared plus b squared equals c sure. squared. It, nicely done. So this is to find if you know two sides of a right triangle, you can find the third side using this formula. Right. There's another formula when we're working on x y coordinate planes called the distance formula that looks a little bit more complicated, mm. right? And it's all under a square root and you know plusing and minusing and squaring things. I'm and sure I did it, but it's been you, a long you, time. You've done it. Now, what the distance formula is is it's the Pythagorean theorem written in a way that you can use it on an x y coordinate plane to find the distance of a line. I know my hand gesture aren't helpful on the radio i'm sorry but um this just appears to be magic and i can give simpler examples like the number pi uh nobody knows what pi is do mm -hmm. you guys know what pi is um hold on give me a second it is the if i bisect a line through a circle and that line is a one unit of measurement then the distance of around the circle is 3.14 one five nine whatever something. Mark is correct. Woo! The, and he's very excited about it if you're not here in the studio. Um, it is the pi, 3.1415, so on and so forth, forever, is uh, the ratio of a circle's circumference to its to diameter. its diameter. But nobody knows that. So nobody is really learning anything about math except how to do a factory labor process mm -hmm. of here's a problem, here's some formulas, you put them together, and you get an answer. Does this right. mean that um, high school math has changed? Because they're not teaching you uh, a pi in, in middle school generally. So does this mean that high school math has in public schools has changed since 1987 or whenever I was in Algebra 2? No, I don't think it's changed much at all. Then they definitely told me how to, uh, you know, come up what pi is and those sorts of things. I mean, I, and I, I understood math until trigonometry and analytic geometry, and mostly that had to do with me sleeping. Right. Okay. Uh, so you were you're saying it was explained to you what pi was? Absolutely. I've well, see. I've done this survey, and I mean, I can't even think of how many hundreds of kids I've done the SAT class with in the past few years. Um, very, very, very few but who what have known the answers. Remember, the these are the elites. These are the kids who can pay for an SAT class that costs 500 bucks. Yeah, but I was one of those kids, and I can tell you I got behind in math more than one time, and I was befuddled because once, once, once you're lost – in math, yeah, you stay, tend to stay lost that right. year. Uh, now, yeah, it's you, cumulative. You can sit down 
as a student, and I did this twice, you can sit down and say, I am catching up. And then you can read the textbook, because you can actually read a math book. I know they don't tell you you can do that. But you can read a math book and then explain, and it explains what's going on, and you can catch up. I did it twice. Now, mm -hmm. I, wow, I realize a I'm a super genius, but good Lord, anybody <laughs> can read was, a book. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to point Boy, that out. I couldn't I, do it. When I was in school, man, I could not force myself to read those textbooks. You well, I think that's so part awful. of the problem. I think that's part of the problem because it's this kind of uber rationalist approach. You wind up in this long chain of deduction where you don't really know where you're coming from or where you're going and what, wait, why did they do that at that step? And, uh, you know, I, I kind of view it as, uh, and this is coming from a super genius, of course. Sure. <laughs> um, so I kind of it kind of reminds me of this whole Prussian model where you have to get your, your the idea is to make um, students uh, you know like a, teach them a set of procedures so they can work in a factory if I can sure. compare it to that yeah. it's like you're you're teaching them um, mathematical procedures scientific procedures so that they can become whatever you know enter the workforce or uh, right just you know, proficient enough to function. Uh, at whatever right. the task is that they're doing. And, you know, they don't need to know how math works in order to calculate the other side of the triangle. They just right. need to know right. the formula. Right. right. You know, they don't need to know, for example, that probability theory went through all these, you know, schisms and arguments and letters between Pascal and Fermat about arguing about and, you know, coming up with the ideas. They just need to know that, uh, well, you know, the probability of the coin is one half. And if you yeah, have two math events, is just finished by them together. Yeah, they, so. they learn that math is just finished and agreed upon. And mm -hmm. there was never any doubt about that. And the real tragedy is they learn things like history the same way. Nathan, good call tonight. I think you finally made sense to me. I appreciate the, at least on this topic. Thank you for <laughs> uh, making much. it. I know now I know what he meant when he said math isn't math and science isn't science. Thanks for the call. Toll free number is 855 450 free. Now, Jeremy is in St. George. Sorry about that, Jeremy. You are on the air with us listening to KZNU. Go ahead. All right. Well, I got, you had a call a few minutes ago from George uh, about uh, certain VA benefits. Uh, I myself am also a combat veteran, two tours in Iraq. Uh, and it's a similar experience when you come home from a deployment and you go to what they call the mobile station or mobilization station, and you go through all these briefings and classes about, okay, you're going home and, and you're going to reunite with your family, so on and so forth. Uh, it almost did feel like a sales pitch. Uh, I think they were borderline, if not over the border, on, hey, if you, if you say you got these symptoms, you know, we can get you all this extra money for disability, so on and so forth. But I was highly skeptical. Because it, about the same time we got home from Iraq, which 2011, I think it was either the NDAA of 11 or 12, authorized um, the uh, basically unlimited detention uh, of service members. You know, if they were if they were found to be a potential uh, threat either to themselves or their community or their family because of uh, mental instability. And in fact, there was a case. I can't That's remember. That's some scary exactly stuff. Hang on, Jeremy. If you want to tell us more, you can do that here in hour number three. More on the way. Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Imagine for a moment... A radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, July 30th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20.58 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,298 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $577. Antiwar.com reports, in a brief public speech yesterday, President Obama unveiled a new round of sanctions against Russia, this time banning U.S. financial companies from offering credit to finance growth in Russia's energy sector and banning U.S. exports of certain equipment to Russia. Obama denied the sanctions amounted to the start of a new Cold War and insisted they were targeted entirely on showing displeasure for Russia's support for rebels in eastern Ukraine. At the same time, U.S. officials made clear that they intend to push new sanctions irrespective of what Russia does in Ukraine, and Obama's comments focused on crippling the Russian economy as a whole, not just ending Russia's calls for a ceasefire in Ukraine. Though Obama touted the punitive damage done to Russia's economy by past sanctions, recent reports have suggested U.S. exports to Russia have actually been going up in recent weeks and are so trivially small at any rate as to be unlikely to have a serious impact on the nation's economy. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. During a 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit GoFundMe.com slash FPPCC. That's GoFundMe.com slash FPPCC. USA Today reports Mississippi's lone abortion clinic can stay open after the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit on Tuesday upheld a preliminary injunction against a state law that threatened to close the clinic and force women to go out of state to receive the procedure. Claiming the law would place an undue burden on the right to seek an abortion, the court ruled that Mississippi may not shift its obligation to respect the established constitutional right of its citizens to another state. Jackson Women's Health Organization, which serves roughly 2,000 women annually has fought the law since its April 12th, 2012 passage. It requires all abortion providers to be certified OBGYNs and have admitting privileges at a local hospital. 39 other states also require that OBGYNs perform abortions and nine others mandate hospital privileges. According to the Guttmacher Institute, a nonprofit organization dedicated to sexual and reproductive rights. Jackson Women's Health Organization was refused admitting privileges to any of the half dozen hospitals within a 30-minute drive of the clinic, according to clinic spokeswoman Betty Thompson. Clinic owner Diane Dersey said, I'm jubilant. The courts did the right thing. Dersey said the battle over women's rights rages on in Mississippi and elsewhere, adding, there will be more legislation. There will be more hoops to jump through. Right now, we're just thankful we're still open. Dersey also anticipates the state will appeal the decision. Calls to the Mississippi Attorney General's office and the Mississippi Department of Health were not immediately returned. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. 
Antiwar.com reports efforts to negotiate a ceasefire in Israel's ongoing invasion of the Gaza Strip aren't sitting well with the Israeli hawks, and by extension, that means they aren't sitting well with the U.S. Congress. That's got congressional officials up in arms, pushing Obama to stop trying to negotiate a ceasefire in the conflict and instead to endorse Israel's war unconditionally and irrespective of how bad it gets. Underscoring just how far they'll go, Senator Mark Kirk from Illinois insisted he was totally comfortable with Israel killing thousands of civilians in the current war if it meant wiping out Hamas, saying it was worth it. Israel is already pushing up against 1,000 dead civilians in the ongoing war, and while they're not even talking about the idea of wiping out Hamas, they are talking up a long war going forward, meaning Senator Kirk might get his thousands of dead Gazans, albeit with no elimination of Hamas to go along with it. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The zebra of the plains is perpetually hunted by a myriad of merciless predators. With no purpose other than to feed monsters, the zebra spends its entire life standing around awaiting a violent death. They are nature's ultimate prey. The zebra paces the earth, patiently going through the motions of life, knowing that at any moment it will end in a sudden shock of pain and brutality. With its black and white stripes serving as an ostentatious beacon to any nearby predators, the zebra whiles away its time before gruesome elimination. Zebra, wait on the pantry shelf that is the African plain before something finds it and, at last, remembers to eat it. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, launching into the third hour of the program, and you can bring up anything that you want. I am actually mysteriously intact uh, today, considering I had four and a half hours of sleep last night, got up at 6.45 this morning, and then spent the entire day at the county fair, haven't had a nap at all. I'm, I'm actually really lucid uh, this evening. Sometimes it can be pretty burdensome doing a radio show for three hours after uh, going to the fair. And we'll see how I end up sounding on Saturday night. <laughs> I think, I forget what the chemical is, but if you stay up for a certain amount of time, there's like, uh, y- usually it happens around 11 p.m. for most people, but if you got up earlier, there's like a, some chemical that you just get a dump of because you, if you've been up for a certain amount of time, I don't, th- I don't know if it's cortisol Ooh, I don't know either. Cortisol. I've is, had the feeling before. Yeah, cortisol is is the uh, more related to stress. So it this might the have, second wave, as they the call it. The second wave. So yeah. if you can't get to bed by a certain time after being awake for a certain amount of time, you get you know hit with this chemical that's just going to keep you up for more hours because your body thinks at that point that it needs to stay up to survive. So does that mean that um, you? Uh, is this chemical sort of bad for functioning? Are you dumber on it? Are your reactions slower? No, I mean it should it should like pep you back up. Okay. Now, of course, sleep is very important. And then important. it's hard to sleep after that. Uh, yeah, I mean, so if you're up past a certain like threshold, you, yeah, then you're probably going to be up for like at least three or four more hours if you miss your window to right. go to bed. You yeah. know what? That doesn't scare me nearly as much as whatever might pass for lucid in uh, Ian's world. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. You can bring up anything. The last guy that we had on unfortunately dropped off the line. I was interested in hearing him talk more about this indefinite detention of military people, like the U.S. military people being detained by the U.S. military indefinitely. That's what he was, I think, getting at there. Maybe he'll uh, call back. We've got Tom in Detroit. And Tom, you're on Free Talk Live. Coming up, we'll continue the list of 30 things you should stop doing. We'll see. If we get a chance. Tom, go ahead. Hey, guys. How are you this evening? Good. What's on your mind, Tom? Well, I uh, had my court hearing today, uh, just everybody up to speed. I'm the guy that had his house surrounded uh, back March 22nd at 1230 at night with the cops. Remember I told you guys that story? Oh, yeah. And uh, and they left. Well, anyway, eventually it ended up I got a— They well, arrested you by I, mail. Yeah. No, not on that one. That, that's okay. a couple years ago. This one, I, I, I suppose all I got was a summons to show up for an arraignment on disturbing the peace. I still never got the ticket. I went— 
to the Disturbing the Peace the arraignment uh, back in June. Uh, and now today was supposed to be the first pretrial hearing. And I, you know, I, of course, sent in Mark's, uh, Mark's uh, Stevens' motion to dismiss, uh, discovery re request, and my own motion for improper arraignment. And I've been on Skype now uh, with Mark's blog there or a group or whatever you want to call it. And we had role play for the last couple of nights, a couple hours a night. It's been phenomenal. And I was ready to go for battle today. And they waited till the whole court was out. Actually, the judge was already off the bench. And then they brought me in there and dropped the charges. And uh, and I didn't really pay attention because I had all my motions and everything ready, but they dropped it without prejudice. And we know what that means. They can bring it back. Right. So now what they did was they told me that they're going to reissue the ticket at a lower civil infraction. So you know they did that to Ian in the DMV hearing. Mm -hmm. So I know that's coming, but now they – they technically gave the uh, prosecutor a bone with having that. I, that can still be brought up now, the, uh, the full misdemeanor of the disturbing of the peace charge that I still don't have a ticket for. So it's just been one of those days today. But uh, This is one of the I things I really hate about the, the sort of uh, court activism is, is that they – uh, you know, they, the, the the people on the other side, the prosecutors and the police and that sort of thing, they really have that system locked down. You're totally on defense all the time. Yeah. So you went out there, you you role played for some expectations of some things that happened. They totally blindsided you with. I'm not going to call this a bad result um, by any stretch, but they you know, they blindsided you with a result you weren't expecting, and you're not prepared to talk. And it's, uh, I mean, the the idea that one even can possibly get a a fair trial when it's the other side that uh, gets to make all the moves you're constantly on the defense mm -hmm. you don't have the higher ground because there's no way that uh, they consider this to be a in, in any case do they consider it to be um a, a situation where you're beyond a re guilty beyond a reasonable doubt i mean a jury doesn't doesn't work that way so well, especially now that they've done this they know i can't ask for a jury trial they're doing that on purpose right to lower their burden you know what that is the preponderance of evidence sure and, uh, you know, and now I do have a question for both you and, and Ian. My, I, I've told you about dad next door. I call him dad. And uh, he's a he, he believes that we should have government. And I I try to have these debates with him. I'm, I'm more toward the Mark Stevens philosophy and Ian's philosophy of absolutely no government. And I've heard you guys both have a discussion. And I would like to ask that question. Mark, you seem to be somewhat pro-government. What do you see that we need government for? Um, I don't know. This is, so the thing is, is that we're in a situation where we haven't had an opportunity to try this whole volunteerism thing out. And it's not that I don't believe that people should be able to try their own forms of governance. Um, and I think they should. I think that that's what any just organization would allow people to try their own forms of government out. Well, Mark, you make an important distinction, and I, I tend to agree with it, um, that and I, I'm, I'm still guilty of using the term government, but your distinction is that there's a difference between the state and the government, or the state and government as an idea. Sure, government. Because I support self-government. There's nothing wrong with self-government. Control yourself, you know, don't be well, uh, dangerous or But I think ridiculous. that people need more than self-government. I think they need to be governed, and they will be governed. They will be governed. The question well, is, what will that government look like, and will there be an option? Will there be options? So I think we're best served by government organizations that have to directly compete against each other. And by that, I mean the governments are no longer tied to the land. In the same way that you can get AT &T so you would be talking service, about getting rid of the state, but not the idea of government. Right. The so, state uh, is a monopolist, of course. Governance might be a better word, unless unless I'm hearing you no. incorrectly. He's advocating governance. He's well, saying that he's no, but that. but there's a difference, right? Because because government, we have a picture of that. We yeah. have a picture of what that is. But governance is rules. So, like, in this case, we could be talking about, like, dispute resolution organizations. Well, uh, I am talking about that. Okay. But the fact is, is that you need to communicate with your audience every single time. And the fact is that there is a strong meme in the world that, well, it's not like we can live without government. And you're not going to fight that. And I'm not going to fight that. And it's not okay. worth fighting. What they say when they, what they mean when they say that is, is that we must have rules by which people live. And I think that's absolutely true. We must have um, organizations that enforce rules by which we will live. And th therefore, there will always be government. Now, to think 
for a moment the kind of hubris that it takes uh, to think that somehow a limited republic or whatever this is supposed to be or whatever whatever government is somewhere in the land is the end pinnacle of human government is a ludicrous notion sure so um but governments need need to need to be able to evolve and they're because they're monopolies, it's very difficult for innovation to enter into the marketplace. So what all I propose is, is that we have some opportunity for innovation. And, you know, governments, that they find that abhorrent. Well, the, the water is a little muddy there, too, because one person's evolution <laughs> of government is, uh, you know, chaos for another person. Like, if you think about what we would consider, if, if government still had to exist, an evolution in you know the scope of government what we would say is an evolution considering the scope of government the size of government other people would see that as the end of the world. The progressives would see that as the end of the world. Well, that's because the progressives wish to rule other people. They certainly do. They are do. petty slave owners, <laughs> and they will not claim it for themselves. I, however, am willing to give you, like I'm for this whole sort of small government constitution thing, right? Let's 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 go ahead and do that. But I don't think that you or Ian should be tied to that. If you want to take the land that you own, turn it into some sort of uh, you know volunteer estate. You should be able to try that out on your land. If you want to get together collectively with other people who, and I don't try think that you out, you can combine voluntarist with state. Okay. Well, well here, state's a here, criminal organization a, of violence. Go ahead. Got voluntarist nation. Here, okay. Well, here, this is the debate or the question, I guess, that my dad or dad, I call dad, next door said. He says, right now, and he refers to the broken people. There are so many people that are on the government dole and getting a paycheck from the government. Now, how do you end how this? How you deal with that? That's a great question. Having... We'll come back with it. Thanks, Tom, for the call. How do you deal with these, as, as he put it, broken people, mm. uh, welfare addicts, both regular and corporate, of course, and military? More on the way here. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. When leading hardwood mills have excess flooring to sell, there's only one place they go. Lumber Liquidators, America's number one specialty retailer of wood flooring. This week, get amazing deals like gorgeous three-quarter inch, solid, pre-finished Brazilian cherry hardwood for only $2.99 per square foot. Or quick-click strand bamboo for 37% less than other stores. Plus, get first quality laminate flooring for 49 cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find your local store. Special 12-month financing is available. Hurry, these deals end Tuesday. Hi, Chuck Woolery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot reach signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make. Wait, no. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? 
Democrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the wind working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free. At 855-450-FREE, that's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian. Brett. And Mark. We'll continue with your calls and thoughts. Actually, our last caller brought up a question at the very end of his call. I wanted to make sure we had a chance to address it. And actually, I think one of our other callers wants to address it as well. The question of how do you, if we want to go to some sort of a voluntarist or even a very small government uh, world, which I think most of the hosts of the show would agree with, at least one or two of those statements, how do you deal with the transition? Because it's easy the for transition's us to... huge. It's it's the only right. question. Yeah. The fact is, human freedom is on the rise in the world. People want more freedom for themselves. This it's is those other people that they don't want freedom right. for. Absolutely. The they're they're all worried about them other folks. There's no doubt about it. But um human freedom is an end result that is very likely. The question is, how do you manage it from here to there? Because people talk about sort of this Rand Paul situation. He's in the news again today. And it may very well be that you know, Rand Paul's being labeled libertarian by everybody but Ian. What a joke. Most people. But what are you talking about? There's all kinds of people that okay. don't like Rand I'm Paul. Sorry. Most, the, the major news sources. Or at least sources, don't like the things he says. The, the major news sources and things like that, right? They're labeling him libertarian. That's unfortunate. If he ends up as president, and it is not unlikely, if uh, looking at the field today. Are um, you predicting that you think uh, Rand Paul could be president? I did you did I, Did I predict it? I don't know. You said it's not unlikely. There, there you go. It okay. is not unlikely. <laughs> um, Therefore, you think it's likely. No, I say I'm. I'm not. I would not be stunned if he ended up as uh, as the okay. president. So, um, and I have reasons. If you want to nope, go into that, I don't now. think you do. So, um, if he ends up as president, you know, it's gonna. He's gonna have four years to make the U.S. some kind of liberty paradise. I don't know whether anybody. This not is even a Ron Paul Herculean task. And couldn't be managed. So there's going to be problems. The economy is already a disaster right now. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be taking over. And it, it could be the worst thing for the liberty movement entirely if somebody who's labeled a libertarian gets into some major office. Well, that's a good reason to pull all of your support for Rand Paul. I don't know. I th I think that he does. I mean, you have to recognize, Ian, that they, there is this widespread perception that he is like very libertarian, Tea Party. It's unfortunate. But, but it's true. And I say, and I'm kind of a conspiracy guy, but if he gets elected president, run. Right? <laughs> because that they're handed him the mm. ball at, at the time that, you know, the whole football stadium falls off the cliff. Uh, so he can so he can take the blame for it. I mean, that's that's what I would see. I don't have any I don't believe at all that presidential elections are legitimate. You know, I think we've seen evidence in the past 15 years that they're not perfectly legitimate. And uh, I would be I anyway, like that's maybe that's not good advice if Rand Paul gets elected president run. Uh, but I would be nervous about what would be coming next. And I thought that with where uh, would you run to? What do you mean by run? You don't have to really run, run allegorically. <laughs> you don't have to run anywhere. I'm okay. just saying like that might be a sign that the entire system is coming down. 
Uh, so I want to get back to the question. Yeah, absolutely, like, What do you do absolutely. with what was determined or what was uh, termed broken people, the broken people, the people who have for many years, perhaps over generations even, in their families been hooked on welfare? Um, and I'm Government uh, employees. Government employees, military, contractors. People that work for companies that uh, have lar- you know, large government contracts. Right. And average welfare recipients as well. These people who are so dependent on the state, uh, old, old folks being taken care of by the state. Disabled. Uh, um, etc. Social Security. So what do you do about that? Your proposal, you Liberty folks, is to get rid of the state. And now what are you going to do with all these people that are expecting to get a check for their disability or their Social Security or their military pension or their police pension or whatever after a certain period of time? What do you do well, about that? Well, you. it sounds like the question set up where we have to push some kind of a button. You know, that's something that we've talked about on the show before. I don't think it's I don't think it works like that. I th- I think well, that how would uh, it work? Well, I, I think as government becomes more financially strained, I mean, this is just, you know, a hypothesis that as government becomes more financially strained and we're seeing that in all different parts of government, they're going to have to start turning services over to not, you know, privatizing to contractors that mm-hmm. they pay, but really letting some things go into the market. Right. Well, this is a reality, right? Like every single government that isn't here any longer failed. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. It's like there's two classes of go- there's three classes of governments, the ones that will come in the future, the ones that we currently have, and the ones that have failed in the past. And every one that we have today is going to move into category three at yeah. some point. So therefore, you recipients of whatever government largess there is out there, you are living on borrowed time. Yeah. We don't know when, we don't know how, we don't know where, but we do know At some that point, it is going to stop. The party's going to be over. The party's the over. The check's going to stop. My question I would have for you is, in what way am I obligated to hold your hand All through right. this? That's not and the, the right fact is, is, well, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I think that this is really important, is... This is a reality, and you need to step up and be a grown adult about it, that I am not obligated to give you any answer about what's going to happen. I'm happy to give you an answer. I just want you to understand that my answer is a gift. (laughs) <laughs> from me to you. And then, you know, the cold, hard truth of reality will slop your head off, whether you like it or not. But I'll go ahead and I'll give you an answer. The U.S. government has assets, and the U.S. government isn't an entity. It is supposed to be all of us. Those assets, therefore, are owned by all of us. I would like, I don't believe that it's possible. I would like to believe that a government that is owned by all of us would give the least of us as much as it could on the way out. However, that government always has, all governments always have and always will be controlled by the rich, the powerful, and the elite. So they're going to take all that government land, all those government buildings, and all that government stuff made of metal, and they're going to keep it for themselves, and they're not going to give you a cent out of it. But they should. Yeah, they should I'm... sell all that crap and give the money to other people. If you think they're going to, you're just as much of a fool as I think you are. It went that way with the Soviets. You know, of it, it was did. Like, it was a couple handfuls of people who walked away with the remaining wealth of the of the mm-hmm. whole USSR. Yeah. Well, look, there have been situations that have happened, you know, within the last few years where certain things have come up with different governments, state and even the federal government, where they've been in a, a pinch, uh, where. Well, sorry, folks. Uh, your welfare checks just aren't coming this month. You're, we're gonna get you paid, or I don't know if it was Social Security. California, but yeah, California went they through this. IOUs. Uh, Detroit, of course, you know, is in notoriously bad shape, and they can't pay their power bills. So, you know, there are situations where people who had been expecting checks were told, "Well, we're gonna get to you." California was a great example of that, and they probably did get to them eventually because they managed to shore up their finances with who knows what, uh, some sort of financial magic. These things can't last forever, though. And when those uh, incidents come up, then we are really seeing that being addressed in real life. What would happen if, or when rather, a state or federal government just, sorry, we don't have enough money coming in. And the state of California can't print the money, so they were really in a, uh, a difficult spot. And those people did have to go without a check for for a month, and that's when people are going to start stepping up. And, and, and it's not an easy answer to put out there, but that's when humans who care 
people in a neighborhood, people in a community, in a church, in various different organizations are going to step up and they're going to take care of the people in their community just like they always have before government with mutual aid right. societies. Yeah. But you, what like you're that. not going to have is entitlements. You're not going to have that I owe you a check for $600 or whatever the menial amount is that they get on a monthly basis. You're going to have that point. That's charity, and people are going to have to ask for it. And that's going to really get rid of some of the hangers-on. We'll come back with more. Your thoughts are welcome on how to deal with the so-called broken people in the transition to more freedom. Free Talk Live. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? As the stock market hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. Email is easy, instant, and free, and that can be real embarrassing. Email lacks the eye contact and body language you get in face-to-face -face conversation, or the tone of voice and other nuance you hear in a telephone conversation. Email is just words, often few words. We're all smothering in spam, so we often reply in terse fashion that's easy to misunderstand. And email doesn't cost you a postage stamp, and it lacks the deliberation time it'd take to walk to the snail mailbox so it's easy to succumb to the oh yeah stimulus response trap when in doubt don't snap back at snippy messages you get you may have mistaken the sender's intent and unless you're sending aol to aol there's no unsend for more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now hit survivalspeech.com i'm holland cook this Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. Ms. Maxwell's local council has decided that the pool, which is only two feet deep, needs a lifeguard. It's a kiddie pool. As if the lifeguard wasn't enough, she's also been told she must have insurance. The health and safety edict came after she wrote to the city council asking for permission to put a bigger pool in the communal garden outside her home. Ah, oh, that was her mistake, asking for permission rather than forgiveness. But nonetheless, not only was she told it was too dangerous, but the council told her to empty the existing pool. The Portsmouth manager defended the ruling yesterday. Nigel Selly said, We didn't have sufficient assurances that the risks associated with providing such a facility would be well managed. It's a facility. How dare you? How dare you erect this structure on your property? It's an inflatable pool. Without our permission. Free talk live seven nights a week from 7 to 10 eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm you can put the liberty radio network on the air in your area visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how broadcast.lrn.fm
This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up what you want. Just dial toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. With all kinds of uh, other options, or all kinds of options for you, you can of course download plenty of shows. But the interactive stuff includes our bulletin board system. There's a chat room on our webcam page at cam.freetalklive.com, and of course the front page of the website itself is very interactive in that you can submit content there and vote it up or down based on whether you like or dislike using our Reddit-based system. It's all free, so go and enjoy at freetalklive.com. J.J. Carroll Jr., the commanding officer of the United States Marine Corps' Mountain Warfare Training Center, says the instruction at Survival Training School of California is um, extraordinary. They exceeded all expectations as a survival instructor. Your steadfast ability to perform your duties as an instructor has truly been an asset to the training center and earned the respect of the Marines. If the United States Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center trusts the Survival School of California for survival training, then perhaps you should too. The uh, the, the, the lead instructor over there, Thomas Coyne, is the name in survival training. Now, you know, if you're just a day hiker, you probably think, I don't need survival training. But frankly, those <laughs> of the people that need survival <laughs> training, those are the people that need survival <laughs> training. That's the reality. Those are the ones that get, uh, they get lost. They get injured. Uh, you know, you need it. And I, I think a lot of people that do survival training sort of want to do it as a challenge. That is perfectly legitimate. Um, the Survival Training School of California is going to give you your best uh, experience when you do that. And that's something you really got to kind of watch out for. There are other copycats out there um, just trying to ride the coattails of the Survival uh, Training School of California. But there are other schools, too. There's no accreditation process for a survival training school. So you need to... Look at the qualifications of the people doing the teaching. Thomas Coyne, he has those qualifications. Go check it out for yourself. Go to CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. And you can sign up for their uh, pocket knife only field training course that they've got going on. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a great course. And they've got several others coming up. Check out your schedule. Uh, compare it to what's going on. And, uh, you know, see, see what works for you. But... Take a look at the website. I think you'll be as impressed as I was. CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. Give you their telephone number real quick. It is on the website. 805-503-8861. CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. All right, so we continue here, and uh, I, I kind of feel bad for Brett, who is on his sort of last regular show, at the very least, on Free Talk Live. I said before the show, Brett, we're going to get to some of these uh, things, 30 things you, you just need to stop doing in your life, because we started them a long time ago, got through 10 of them over a period of weeks. It literally took that long. And to, tonight we got through number 11 so far. We started the show out with number 11, and uh, yeah. it's been call after call. So. Ironically, number 12 was taking phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, I'm not complaining. I love Not it at people, all. I lo I, that's my favorite thing about the show. Right. I love it when people call in to participate, and uh, we're loaded up. So if you're on the line right now, we're going to do our best to get to you. Uh, we've got you know basically two segments left, so be patient. If you're not on the line right now, don't bother because the phones are almost completely loaded. Let's go to the phones and the fun here. Jericho is listening in Mount Jackson to WSVG. Hey, Jericho. Hey, guys. How you been? Welcome, sir. Hey, uh, you're talking about oversized government and welfare and such. Um, basically, my view on it is this. If you read the Constitution, there's a very, very important part called the Tenth Amendment. And basically, it states, you know, the government's roles, their responsibilities, and their duties, and what isn't. And the Tenth Amendment covers if it's not here, then that means it's up to the states or the people. But if you look at our current federal government, 75 to at least 75 to 80 percent, you would think, is unconstitutional. Mm. And a very short list is FDA, USDA, DOT. Um, here's a couple of good ones, DEA and IRS. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these are unconstitutional agencies. Right. Yeah. The reason, wrong, the, the reason why the Tenth Amendment doesn't matter is because over the course of the last, you know, really, I mean, really in the 20th century, 
Uh, it got really bad, but they were able to pry open, you know, people who wanted to make laws or people who came to the executive branch right. with an agenda were able to pry words open or phrases open like general welfare. And, you so, know, and they use those manipulate them. That's how you got Obamacare. Right. <laughs> you know? and, and a lot of other things I mean, before Obamacare, you know, oh, going yeah, back I mean, to the 30s, those, those going back to Wilson. But even a constitutional branch of government, don't get me wrong, can tread on the people's rights. We see that happen. But basically, all these unconstitutional agencies, their whole purpose is to tread on your rights, and they need to be shut down. And a lot of people, when I say this, they say, well, what about all the people that work there? Well, number one, right now, the, the government is the biggest employer in the nation, and government wasn't supposed to be like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you got all I agree with you, been, but, but you know, here's the but difficult these, these part about it is, is that— yeah, but they've been immune to being laid off and all this other stuff like the rest of us because they work for the government. There's no doubt. I concur and, completely with what you say. My problem is is that, you know, like this Constitution, people people like me, um, like I used to be, that hold the Constitution up as this, uh, this standard, the fact is is the Constitution was in place when it was co-opted. So therefore, it must either be yeah. insufficient protection against evil people in government that would uh, well, increase their own power. What you're saying. This isn't the first time you and I have talked, and we've talked yep. about this before. We've talked about this before, and basically my view on it, I see where you're coming from, but my view on it is this. Anytime that your government has grown to the point where they're overtaking you, the people have been asleep. This is our fault. This is our fault. The Constitution no, it's was put not. there for a reason. No, it, it's, it's really, it's really not. I mean, yes. It, is what I'm saying. Jericho, yeah, I— is what I'm saying. We've let them get away with it, I think. Okay, yes. There's there's truth to that statement. But at the same time, you can't blame people for not taking the actions. I don't remember what it is. There's some sort of economic uh, term for this. But essentially, there's a certain amount of cost involved in doing activism. Right. Uh, so in order for you or me or anybody else who's interested in going up, let's say there's some new const unconstitutional program being proposed, which is probably everything they're doing. So pick one. Right. And right. then, uh, you know, this this particular program is going to affect people who do X. And so only the people who do X are going to be the ones who are the most motivated to show up and do something about it. And of course, there's a limited amount of them. So their numbers right. aren't going to be particularly effective at trying to change things in any way, shape or form. Everybody else is so busy running their own life, trying to get the bills paid, trying to take care of the family. If somebody who is interested in doing X talks to their friend and says, hey, yeah. I want to do X and they're going to outlaw this. Can you come come to Washington, D.C. and help us put a stop to this? The other person is going to say, look, uh, buddy, I, you know, I really I'm your friend and everything, but I got bills yeah. to pay. I got stuff to do. So there's just not enough um, motivation. There's not enough incentive for people to go and work well, against. Right. But let me throw this little question at you. You look at our current administration in the White House right now. How can you tell me that that man and others like him in the Congress and Senate and everywhere else, we have a very, very corrupt government. If, you're, if you can't see how corrupt this government is, you are asleep. And how sure, but what do you like do? This, Vote for the other guy? Like I don't know. Well, that's the problem because it don't matter if it's Democrat or Republican. Exactly, which is one plan. of the reasons why you can't so, really blame the people. On one hand, yeah, you can blame them for allowing these laws to be passed in that they could just stop obeying, right? Like yes. if, if people stopped well, obeying— take, take then, Colorado, for example. They passed gun laws that they didn't like, and they got a couple people recalled. That's the people taking action. And that's what I'm saying. If, if, if the people were to take action and protect them, always remember Ben Franklin. He walked out of the Constitutional Convention, or no, the Declaration of Independence, the end of that convention. He walked out, the young man asked him, what have you given us, Mr. Franklin? He said, a republic, if you can keep it. So that's the problem. That it don't matter how far back you want to go back in American history, we haven't fought to keep it. I disagree. I disagree with Ben Franklin. I disagree with it. It's, it's, it's a nice quote, but you know the truth is that um, there's there's a collectivism here that that I really don't like, right? Like, th and this comes from voting. People using this word "we" to describe them and the government. Jericho, and thanks. Those are two groups. I want to thank you for the call, man. I appreciate the discussion. We got to get some more people on here in the remaining moments of Free Talk Live, which are coming up next. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free, and of course you can bring up anything here on Free Talk Live. More with Brett from the School Sucks Project, and your calls coming up. 
This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, health care, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. Did you agree? Did you totally agree? I'll bet that you did. But did you read the agreement? There are 7 billion people on Earth, and there are over 6 billion active cell phone accounts right now. And every one of them came with an agreement. Billions have already agreed to allow entities that they do not know to use and abuse every feature of their mobile devices. Your computer activity is monitored and archived. Your car is tracked, and even your face is scanned. The current power structure grows more fearful every day of your desire for anonymity, independence, free association, freedom of movement, freedom of expression, and your freedom of thought. And entire categories of humans will be targeted. And if they, them, those that won't leave us alone, determine that we are not within their control, then we will be categorized as out of control. FreedomsPhoenix.com will launch the next phase of the revolution by the end of the summer of 2014. And if you have to tell your neighbors about it, then we did it wrong. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything. If you're already on hold, we'll do our best to get you in. If you don't get on tonight, call tomorrow, and we will get you on the air at that time. Because we do this thing seven nights a week, so there's always more Free Talk Live ahead of you. Uh, So don't forget to join us at your convenience here, and join us online anytime as well at freetalklive.com. Join Brett on his website, schoolsucksproject.com. He is going to continue doing his show, and maybe we'll have uh, live news to announce about Brett at some point in the future. I don't know if it's too early to say anything about that, because I don't know anything. So we'll just leave that there. Schoolsucksproject.com for more Brett. 
So um, it's big news in the Bitcoin world. Wikipedia is uh, accepting Bitcoins as donations. A lot of people really wanted to be able to give, myself included, be able to give their donations to Wikipedia. I feel I owe it to them. They have such a great product. Um, but I wanted to give it a Bitcoin, so I withheld my donations for over the last three years, wow. waiting for them to uh, to come too. And because I was pleased with uh, what they that they finally did, and I want them to be happy with the result, um, I I tossed in a, a full Bitcoin, and I'm going to have to replace my Bitcoin stash here. You can't just go giving these things away and not uh, and and not replace your stash. So I'm going to go through ExpressCoin.com the next time I get my cryptocurrencies. Now I'll probably be buying Bitcoin, but if I'm interested in getting Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, or Darkcoin, they've got it there too. Um, the chances of me being in Canada when this happens are very slim. However, one can do it there also. Check, money order, wire transfer. Also, probably the, the the easiest way to do it is to go to a local credit union that has shared branching, make a deposit there, and within a business day, you'll have your cryptocurrency. Look, if you do less than $40, there's no fee. Use coupon code FTL when you do it. That way, you'll, you'll, get, the, uh, you'll get the little bonus there. But they want you to have bitcoins they want you to have cryptocurrencies and the best way to get people in is to give them a deal so no fee if you use coupon code ftl for orders under 40 dollars um so it's intended for first time people but i i don't think it's uh it's held down to them expresscoin.com that's expresscoin.com all right let's continue here with your calls and thoughts we have jim on the line in lynchburg virginia hey jim Hey, guys, I was going to come out of left field and ask you about Gaza, but you have not enough time. Let's let some other people talk about that. So I want to talk about what you were talking about, which is what do you do with the takers if you devolve to a, a, a free government? And I'm a conservative. I think we already have a system. You know, if we just had the federal government running the Navy and the post office, and you guys up there in New England have, like, those little uh, towns, uh, what are they called, townships, and little small they call them townships you know, in new jersey they don't towns. do that in new uh new hampshire sorry forgive me please but I, i'm thinking of the norman rockwell painting of the the guy in the town hall I, i'm thinking every small little town ought to be its own little fiefdom and run just about everything and the federal government can run the 16 little small things that that, that the constitution set up for it and then you could have you guys and could take over like keen or something and you could have like you know really out there stuff and you get a very conservative you have crazy liberal you know you, one town could have cocaine is legal and the other town could have prohibition and then you would have you could have like uh like they say the states are laboratories of democracy you could have that you know times six thousand or whatever i think that's have. a fine idea i think it's a great idea and i think that that's but i what say get I'm rid of the federal government sort of meant to be um generally but the problem is is that Power tends to concentrate. Yeah. And so you've got to get rid of the feds. Well, I mean, you know. And then I, the state government. Where is it going to concentrate to? I don't know. But it tends to concentrate. And the people, and people, wealthy people, um, you know, those in business, they tend to want to have that power because they don't want the power used against them. So mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's sort of this conundrum. As long as the power is there, the power of monopoly is there, people are going to want to use it. Yeah. Thanks, Jim, for the call, man. Appreciate it. Let's get uh, Billy on the line here in southern Utah. You're on Free Talk Live. Billy. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, go ahead quickly. Um, You're on the air. You know, talking about the takers and the, uh, you know, there's a lot of folks who find themselves in a bind where it's hard to help. Um, we've got a system. Myself is, is, to some degree in this, being a disabled veteran, uh, I haven't been able to get a medical release to work in going on, I think, nine years now. You know, if you can't get a medical release to work, your options uh, become quickly, quickly limited. Sure. Because no, no employer's insurance company is going to let them hire you. Um, that That's a big thing, and it can be overcome. I mean, get creative. I, it's, I'm making extra income now aside from from all that, but... It's it's a real challenge for a lot of folks because we're limited by this system that you can't do a whole lot of things, you know, legally, uh, certainly. And I wouldn't encourage people to go out and say, hey, become a drug dealer so you're doing something off the books. <laughs> but, you know, 
it's it's a real challenge for a lot of folks. It's when you can't get out and work. I would encourage people to do anything they can that's off the books. I mean, obviously there's risk involved. <laughs> And there's different levels of risk depending on what off the books activity we're talking about here. But you know, yeah. even even now, you don't even have to be a prostitute. You can snuggle with people and get sixty bucks an hour. I mean, I don't know if everybody can get away with that, but you know, there are people I'm sure who are I doing couldn't. that. <laughs> you said you're sure you couldn't. Yeah, I'm sure nobody would pay me sixty bucks an hour to snuggle <laughs> with them. If they would, just you know, look me up. Sign me up. Um, but. but uh, it's it's a real challenge that a lot of few people face, and yeah, to some degree, I would definitely encourage. Hey, you know what? If you got to violate some laws in civil disobedience, do so. Thanks. What do you think is more likely? Do you think it's more likely we're going to move that the you know somehow we're going to move to a smaller government where there are a few takers on the dole, or do you think that the federal government's just going to collapse of its own weight? Well, I think it's pretty obvious, uh, especially at least with Mark. Um, you know that yeah, I think the government's going to collapse under its own weight. Uh, I think the dollar's going to collapse. Yeah, so. there's no chance the federal government's going to turn around and become more small government. It's ridiculous. No, there's, there's, to believe that. There's no chance it's going to it's going to shrink. Our dollar is so incredibly burdened down with debt and the printing policies and everything else. They're going to scratch it's, it's all so of the money out of the dollar. They're going to they're going to siphon as much value out of the dollars they possibly can all the way to the bitter bitter end whatever it is that that looks like and they're going to line their pockets all the way based on everybody else's pain and loss that's how you, it's going to go. That question was a softball. This is Billy Cooper author of uh, Crashed uh, the the Death of the Dollar. Yes. Yeah. Oh, just, cool. I <laughs> just wanted to mention hey, Yeah, that. I'm the it's author of that book. book so quite obviously yes, I think the the dollar is going to collapse. Um, I don't. I see it as inevitable. Hey, and, uh, Billy, where do people get your book? You know, I think get it at Amazon, uh, Barnes and Nobles, all over the place. Fantastic. We got to get some other folks on. Thanks for the call, Billy. Appreciate yeah. it. Let's go to Daryl in Austin, Texas. You're on Free Talk Live, Daryl. Yes. Um, real quick. Um, when I was in the Navy, um, my provider two years before I got out, um, I got injured not because of combat or anything like that. I got injured because the activities of a stupid contractor. Hmm. Um, he had, I had really, they sent me up to the bridge to look at what's called a dark endorse, which took it off the angle iron, put it back on, got shocked because the guys had messed with it and, and, and had wires come out of it, which means it was energized and energized this piece of brass. Hmm. And so I came out, which it messed up my left shoulder. Hmm. And, so I get 0% disability, which means they pay me zero money. Hold on. So even though you were on the clock with the military when that happened, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. saying, no, we're not going to pay for your rehabilitation? No, they're going to pay, pay for rehabilitation. They'll pay for anything that goes wrong with it if I have to get anything to do with the injury. But they won't pay me money, but they will pay for any. What 0% means is you... Don't get money, but if you go to the VA for any treatment of any of the injuries covered under the 0% or any of the things you have under the 0%, they will, they will do it for free. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah, and also, you know, I do get my pension. And in addition to that, I do see a time when the, when the military is going to quit getting pensions. They're heading toward, I saw that coming like 10, 15 years ago when they came out with the TSP plan. I believe that the pensions, even with the government, is going to on its way out. That's what PSP, I believe, is for, is to get rid of the pension. I what know is PSP? What is that? PSP is the uh, Thrift Savings Plan. It's kind of you put your money into different types of um, IRA, not IRAs, but... Um, 401ks. Yeah, you, you invest your money in different investments through uh, different types of um, like mutual funds type stuff. Daryl, thanks for the call, man. Uh, we're short on time. I want to get Matt on the line here in Tennessee. Quickly, Matt, you're on the air. Go ahead. Like 20 seconds. Go. Uh, I just want to tell you all that uh, there's a, a funding uh, proposal before the 113th Congress second session to uh, fund uh, combating an Ebola outbreak. Yeah, okay. as a uh, matter of fact, in, uh, it was it West Africa. This is uh, this been going on. There's an Ebola outbreak, maybe. We will come back tomorrow with more. Thanks, Matt, for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. If you didn't get on tonight, call back tomorrow. Right at the beginning of the show, we have to get you on then. It's been Free Talk Live. Check out Brett, SchoolSucksProject.com is his site.
Stop. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention men who've taken Androgel or any other testosterone therapy products. Androgel or other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, even death. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took Androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered from a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, you might be entitled to financial compensation. You have rights, and you need to let us fight for your rights. And you pay no fees unless we win. So call the Tort Attorneys right now. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. Cases may be referred to participating law firms in your jurisdiction. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Cap Black Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, July 30th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20.58 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,298 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $577. Antiwar.com reports, in a brief public speech yesterday, President Obama unveiled a new round of sanctions against Russia, this time banning U.S. financial companies from offering credit to finance growth in Russia's energy sector and banning U.S. exports of certain equipment to Russia. Obama denied the sanctions amounted to the start of a new Cold War and insisted they were targeted entirely on showing displeasure for Russia's support for rebels in eastern Ukraine. At the same time, U.S. officials made clear that they intend to push new sanctions irrespective of what Russia does in Ukraine, and Obama's comments focused on crippling the Russian economy as a whole, not just ending Russia's calls for a ceasefire in Ukraine. Though Obama touted the punitive damage done to Russia's economy by past sanctions, recent reports have suggested U.S. exports to Russia have actually been going up in recent weeks and are so trivially small at any rate as to be unlikely to have a serious impact on the nation's economy. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit GoFundMe.com slash FPPCC. That's GoFundMe.com slash FPPCC. USA Today reports Mississippi's lone abortion clinic can stay open after the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit on Tuesday upheld a preliminary injunction against a state law that threatened to close the clinic and force women to go out of state to receive the procedure. Claiming the law would place an undue burden on the right to seek an abortion, the court ruled that Mississippi may not shift its obligation to respect the established constitutional right of its citizens to another state. Jackson Women's Health Organization, which serves roughly 
2,000 women annually, has fought the law since its April 12, 2012 passage. It requires all abortion providers to be certified OBGYNs and have admitting privileges at a local hospital. 39 other states also require that OBGYNs perform abortions, and nine others mandate hospital privileges. According to the Guttmacher Institute, a nonprofit organization dedicated to sexual and reproductive rights. Jackson Women's Health Organization was refused admitting privileges to any of the half dozen hospitals within a 30 minute drive of the clinic, according to clinic spokeswoman Betty Thompson. Clinic owner Diane Dersey said, I'm jubilant. The courts did the right thing. Dersey said the battle over women's rights rages on in Mississippi and elsewhere, adding, There will be more legislation. There will be more hoops to jump through. Right now, we're just thankful we're still open. Dersey also anticipates the state will appeal the decision. Calls to the Mississippi Attorney General's Office and the Mississippi Department of Health were not immediately returned. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 Antiwar.com reports efforts to negotiate a ceasefire in Israel's ongoing invasion of the Gaza Strip aren't sitting well with the Israeli hawks, and by extension, that means they aren't sitting well with the U.S. Congress. That's got congressional officials up in arms, pushing Obama to stop trying to negotiate a ceasefire in the conflict and instead to endorse Israel's war unconditionally and irrespective of how bad it gets. Underscoring just how far they'll go, Senator Mark Kirk from Illinois insisted he was totally comfortable with Israel killing thousands of civilians in the current war if it meant wiping out Hamas, saying it was worth it. Israel is already pushing up against 1,000 dead civilians in the ongoing war, and while they're not even talking about the idea of wiping out Hamas, they are talking up a long war going forward, meaning Senator Kirk might get his thousands of dead Gazans, albeit with no elimination of Hamas to go along with it. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Following this afternoon's arrest of Congress on the charge of over 23 million counts of manslaughter, our reporter spoke to Mark Westnick from Savannah, Georgia, just one of the many Americans that has lost a loved one due to the legislative branch's criminal negligence. Because of Congress, my 23-year-old son died two years ago in Afghanistan. My nephew, he lost his leg in Iraq in 2006, and my brother died in Vietnam in 1969. Congress killed my family. Defense attorneys for the now incarcerated 538 member group have dismissed the claims made by Westnick and other victims and released a statement saying their client has been, quote, a pillar of the national community for over 200 years and completely innocent of any and all wrongdoing. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. This is the Onion News Network.